party bus and limousine set up with uh, Auntie Job and David. Leads came in. We got our first payment. It was for fifteen hundred. Now we have bookings for May, June, and July as well. Are you constantly struggling? Are you constantly in feast or famine mode with your agency? Do you have great months where you're making a lot of money and then you have a month where nobody is responding to you and you can't seem to pay the bills? Well, in this interview slash discussion, you're going to learn how to not have to sell more in order to make more. And I brought a few people with me along for the ride. One of them owns multiple businesses, local, real, actual businesses. And he's also a partner of agency to partner. And the other is an asset recovery specialist, which we'll learn more about her in this video and the, as well as the next video that comes after this. So if you're trying to make a lot of money, guys, but you don't necessarily want to increase the amount of um, you know clients that you have in your agencies, you're stuck prospecting every day, you are trying to to figure out how to stop juggling getting good results and then that's taking time away from you trying to go and get new clients and then you have horrible retention rate because you can't satisfy everybody this this video right here is going to show you with our combined knowledge how you can increase the retention uh, of, of the people that you work with by converting them from clients to partners and becoming right. like a, a, a part owner of the actual business without investing in the business literally being able to pull equity out of somebody else's business through leverage all right and that's why we have specialists on here today so if you don't know now you know and uh we're gonna get straight into it oh be before we move on guys a lot of the content on the channel has been teaching you guys from scratch how to make money from scratch this is not one of those games this is not one of those courses if you have a lot of the other courses that i've came with i've been trying y'all i'm trying to help you i'm trying to teach you from infancy to adulthood and everything but agency to partner who this is for this is for people that at least have one to five clients already. You have to have something to uh, to use in order to uh, convert them to partners. Yes, there's ways that you'll be able to get partners inside the program, the membership, but we are not really looking to uh, uh, pacify anybody from infancy. Like if you don't know how to market already, it's, it's not a marketing course. You're not going to go in there and see a million SEO videos, Facebook ad videos or nothing. We're literally going to teach you the 10 monetization methods that you can apply to convert your clients into partners and add an extra 200K to your income monthly guaranteed. You plug them in, that will work. But if you don't know how to market or get people results already, then you plugging in stuff is going to get you, you still make money, but it'll get you minimal you know what I'm saying? Uh, results. We want you guys to drastically change your lives. So with that long intro, uh, Curtis, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, Curtis Witt. Uh, I am the founder of a little small equity company, but also um, a, a experienced both ways on success and not so successful uh you know running small businesses and i can tell you just like the experiences that many of our agencies are going through running a small business is quite honestly it's it's hard work and it's not as leveraged as we would like and this process is a godsend to not only us but it's a godsend to the uh to the partner or the agency agencies because they'll learn how to leverage and you said something that i thought was very interesting and i'm going to piggyback on that when you when you are an agency and you have 10 15 20 clients you may be making some money but you are working and you're working for 10 or 15 20 clients whereas you can have three or four clients and go and go deep down the silo as opposed to going wide in the silo and so that's a huge deal sorry let me interrupt did y'all hear that now that's contrary to what you've been learning on all these other agency channels most agencies are trying to get you to get a million uh, uh clients at 1500 bucks two thousand dollars a month like oh we just hit eighty thousand dollars a month you ask them how many clients they got 300 million clients all of them are jobs and headaches right so what curtis is is is, is emphasizing is the fact that guys the difference in uh, uh, uh what we're going to be showing you in the membership for agency to partner is literally you can actually get rid of your problem clients you're not desperate anymore you can like literally laser focus on the the clients that you have and convert them to partners this will allow you to make way more money with the 10 different monetization methods if they become partners so that you don't need as many clients the reason you guys are on this client hunt the reason we were all on this client hunt too is because you're on the old typical base 
uh, 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 trans, uh, traditional, uh, uh, what is it called, monthly retainer. You're on that. So it, it forces you to have to continue doing it. And it's, it's like a setup. It's like a trick. Because if you constantly out there prospecting and trying to get clients, you rarely have time to get them results unless you have a good system to uh, for fulfillment with somebody else, right? So it's, right. It, it sucks. And, and you're putting another shackle on yourself. But go ahead. Yeah, so that, that's that's the point that I really wanted to make that it, it, and it by like being a specialist, it's just like a surgeon. If you're if you're a general surgeon, that's one thing. If you're a specialist, if you're a brain surgeon, then not only can you focus in on the research and the and the technology and the advancements of brain surgery, but you also become the specialist in that field and you position yourself as the expert in that field. You can't do that in a generalist uh, type of environment, and that's what this allows you to do. You take the ten monetizations plus a few more that we that that will be bonuses. Um, and you take those 10 monetizations and you really focus in on them, you become experts at that. And you get one or two, you know, niches that you focus in on. And all of a sudden, you know, there's nobody that can touch you and you can command your price. There you go. You heard it. You heard it. Okay. We're going to pause because it's getting heated up, right? You know, we're going to come back around to Curtis. Um, Ms. Lady, go ahead and introduce yourself. To the Hello, you guys. My name is Kim Robertson. And I own an asset recovery agency. And what that means is that um, there are a lot of people that are owed money in their name and in their business name. Also, if you had an, um, a foreclosure, um, a lot of people don't know that when a house goes into a foreclosure, that they are owed money once it's, once it's sell to a higher bidder. You know, the states sell their house to a higher bidder. It leaves a surplus and it goes to the, the owner, the previous owner. So with this little information that I have, <laughs> it's so much. I mean, it's so much um, asset out there for these people, and they don't have a clue at all. So that's a little bit of what I do. Okay, so basically, guys, you know, y'all heard it here. Um, she does asset recovery, and she does it in a different ways. Like she, she doesn't just um, you know help with unclaimed money, but she can help you find unclaimed property as well. Um, also, what else? Oh, this is for individuals and businesses, mm -hmm. even freaking, even musicians. Like she does it for like celebrities. You guys, when I send you over there to her channels and everything like that, you'll get to see that she actually helps, uh, uh, you know, celebrities like musicians find royalties that like age, uh, not agencies, but labels and stuff might have been holding for from them and all different type of interest and stuff. And she's going to, uh, you know, she can help you guys recover money that, you know, like some of you guys have deceased uh relatives that left you money and the government never they're not going to come knocking on your door and they're not right they don't love you like that but she can recover that money uh if you uh used to live at an old apartment building or something and never got to deposit and you forgot all about it that's just sitting in the government somewhere if you left jobs all the way from when you was 15 years old and didn't get your last paycheck or something or if you never got your state uh income taxes <laughs> you know it's just money all over the place and she like I remember when she first brought it to me, then she uh, took it to uh, my best friend. Then she started going through the entire family Then she started doing it for uh, for strangers and so on and so forth, guys. And I've just seen her do that uh, time and time again. And a lot of people are going out and getting payday loans, which you have to pay back. I'm not trying to down payday loans because sometimes they can save you. They definitely saved me back in the day. Um, but like you might have like just money just sitting there that you can that you don't have to pay back you understand you can use it for a down payment on something you can use it for a special occasion you can use it for um you know like make bills or or, or, or some, some holiday that you got coming up or something mm -hmm. but I like to business you guys, um I, yeah. I have i had clients that used it for business equipment yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah now now as she's going to tell you is no guarantee like she has to look you up that's why you guys i'm gonna send you guys her information she has to look you up some people might not have it but then that's where she has other services that she'll be able to assist you in to make sure you can get money or get funded or get credit right or or something like that she, she's she's awesome right she's awesome Thank anyway, you. <laughs> everybody on here is awesome look at curtis feeling left out no i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on here is awesome. All praises to the most high for this union right here. Um, thank you for going. Thank you for going super deep. I was trying to be simple and sweet with it, but thank you for going deep. I mean, asset recovery is is a deep thing. It's a deep tunnel, but it it can help so many people if the word was broader. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. I've just felt like since uh, you know, 
we, you know the channel is going to go in a new direction man um it needs to be more about community you know so it's going you guys watching this right now you're going to start seeing way more people on here more interviews more people with agencies and stuff that have a different point of view i'm like we're not enemies of anybody we'll let people come on and speak their piece and their points and stuff is people on that'll probably come on here and make more money than me that's still not going to change the fact that i i believe that uh converting to a partner can converting clients to a partner will liberate you it's not just about the money it's about making the money in a freeing way like how are you making your money so a person could come on here and make a million dollars a day but if they never see their family i could care less i don't want that million dollars keep it right but if you can make that same million dollars and you don't have to do anything after the partnerships then that's the type of life that i'm looking for and that i pray that my audience is is looking for me and curtis is trying to take you guys that route uh with agency to partner so he's going to explain the cinderella equity game guys yo he's he gonna let you know man so if you guys like that other video the uh digital twin clone we can clone any business video blah 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 y'all like that one then this is about to go go hard right here um we got a few questions or topics that we have formulated as questions or structured as questions. You guys can answer them in the comments as well if you have your point of view. Remember, this is an active, engaging discussion type situation. We're going to give our experience and why we believe what we believe. And you can learn from that and you can pick things up and, and go hard with it and change your life. Right. And if you guys have some uh, opinions or, or some experience in the comments, let us know, because then we might bring you on here and might might have to change some things around ourselves to constantly grow and get better. The whole goal is to free ourselves, guys. You think you're out of the matrix, but you're not. You took the chains of oppression from the nine to five, went and created your agency and went into another. You plugged yourself into another matrix that might even be worse because now you never get to see your family at least when you had a job you like okay when i get off at this time I, I know i got my check and i can go hang out with my family but now if you're constantly prospecting and then you flip around and now you got to do the fulfillment you are frustrated you're pissed off you're 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 tired exhausted trust me i know i'm saying this with passion from experience and then you look up and your children are two years older than the last time you looked down at the computer you're like how the heck did that happen right our goal is that for you. We want us to, to change that. We want to help you change that. And that's why we said we're going after people that already have clients. You can get in there and get more partners if you if you want to. But the goal is is for you to already know how to get people results. If you already know how to get, you know, do SEO, if you already know how to do Google ads, YouTube ads, Facebook ads and stuff like that, then you're set. You're, you literally just need to switch them to partner and add and plug in a 10 monetization methods that's that's it right that's it right curtis that's right that's that's absolutely right and there was some one thing that you that you mentioned that i, I want to say i you know i look at quite a few uh, videos because youtube is a university oh, so to speak and, and so um you, you'll get i made you get some and there's nothing against them but you'll get i, I made a hundred appointments you know and i'm thinking to myself oh, man if you made a hundred you made 200 appointments and you are doing those appointments when do you actually get to actually fulfill what so somebody is going to lack on the on the either the beginning part or the more more likely the fulfillment part because you don't have time and there's only so much time in the day you know and exactly. it's probably better to go after the fulfillment part and be really really good at that than it is always constantly abc you know always be contacting people always exactly. be selling abs exactly. so so that, I think that's important as well. Oh, and, and he, go ahead. The, 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 the notion of being able to be free. I mean, w the methodology that we're talking about, it's a methodology that it's almost it's as close to set it and forget it as you can get. I mean, mm -hmm. seven of those 10, eight, eight of the 11 in the, in the bonus sections, you know, that we talk about as we go forward, those are just, you know, you put those in place and you don't really have to do anything. Maybe monitor yeah, sure. and check your yeah. bank account. For sure. Okay. So <laughs> two things he just said, I and mean, we haven't even got, look, it's already hot, man. And we literally, I just told them to cut down. <laughs> we haven't even got to <laughs> the main topics, but he, he's, he's bringing out some, some like crazy points, right? Uh, I did a video a while back and somebody was like in the comments, like, well, what do you mean? What are we supposed to be doing if we're not trying to get a lot of appointments? Y'all aren't hearing what we're saying. We're not saying don't speak with a lot of people. We're saying free yourself. What do I mean by that? 
like I said in that video, affiliate marketers are smarter than agency owners for some reason. They will spend the majority of their time building up interest for one webinar that will have hundreds or maybe even thousands of people on it. Look at what just happened with Alex Hormozzi, like the biggest event in freaking marketing history. He didn't talk to per one person at a time. His booking calendar didn't <laughs> wasn't filled all day. He he used all of his energy to focus people to one conversation. So that's what we're talking about. You can still talk to those hundred people. Just talk to them at one time, man. Like okay. talk to them at one time. Like because majority of what you're gonna say is gonna be the same thing over and over, especially if you're niched down. If you're niched down, let's say you're talking about you're, you're helping solar people. Why would you talk to them separately? They're all in solar. Oh, well, they're in a different city. And it's SEO, it's Facebook ads, it's TikTok ads, it's YouTube ads, it's Google ads. It's all the freaking same. So just had to go in on that. You know, like we need as agency owners, you need to change your mindset. Become like a hybrid between an agency, a marketing agency. You know, take the know-how of of a marketing agency, but take right. the thinking, the mindset also of an affiliate marketer, because those dudes are looking for freedom. They don't want to be too much hands-on with the customer support. Like, think about that. That's why, because I used to talk stuff about affiliate marketers, and I'm like, they're not trying to build a name, you know, because the scripture, you know, you're supposed to build a good name. They're not trying to build a brand and all of that. They're not trying to build an asset, a product and stuff, right? I still believe that you're supposed to have your own assets, but check this out. One thing I also like about them is that they don't want to deal with nothing. <laughs> if you're promoting an affiliate product, all you deal with is the traffic. You don't have to do the customer support. Some of them, you don't even have to convert the sale. You just might have to drive the people there, and they're going to convert the sale. Exactly. So we need to start thinking like affiliate marketers with our agencies and agency to uh, the agency to partner uh, membership is going to help with that. It's going to like he said, it's as close to set it and forget it as you you can get. You have the touch point of meeting the business owner, of course. But then once you plug in the 10 monetization methods, whether or not you are doing any marketing or not, like if you go after the type of partners that we're talking about that are already doing good. Just plugging in your 10 monetization methods will start building up your Cinderella equity, right? That he's going to talk about in a minute, right? So anyway, let's let's get to it, Curtis. Uh, what's the first topic? So I believe that our, our first topic on hand was in regards to, uh, uh, I think your question was, let's see, what's the best way to prove your worth to a client? What's the best way to prove your worth to a client? What do you think, Dave? Okay, let's ask, let's ask uh, Ms. Asset Recovery Specialist. What do you think the best way to prove your worth to a client is? This is going to be controversial, y'all, when I get to it. But I'm thinking because, um, I mean, I, I, was like the, I would like to hear y'all take on it. For real. Okay. Because, Curtis, what do you think the best way to prove, keyword, prove, what is that? Is that a noun or an action? Is that a verb? Like, what is what is the word prove? Proof is the noun, and prove is an action word. So oh, I he really went in. Like, I'm talking about <laughs> proof. I ain't talking about proof. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so, like, I'm less. I'm hey, I'm getting schooled. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here. Okay. So, okay. So okay. I, I think the best way to prove, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. What's the best way to I, prove? I think, I think the best way to prove is to show proof. I, I so think. What do you mean, like a testimony? You, you you bring you bring um, evidence of what you can actually do, and that may be for agencies. That may be, hey, I've done these things in the past, and it may only be one thing that you did. I may have you know run Facebook ads and then increase the conversion rate of something in the past. You know, okay, and, and, okay. Um, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then you can leverage whomever you are associated with also as proof. You know, I, and, and, and that's what if you're a newbie, as an example, I would mm -hmm. leverage everybody else's proof because it's exactly. proof that it works, not exactly. necessarily proof that you did it. It's proof exactly. that it works. True that. True that. And I, this, this is definitely one of the things that I teach, like case studies are case studies, whether you did them or not. And all you got to do is say that I'm going to do exactly what you just saw right here. All right now. But is that the strongest way to prove your worth to a client slash partner? No, it, I, I believe the strongest way is I did it. Here it is. And oh, by the way, here's what I've done for you. There you go. 
There you go. We was just doing a Bible study class, right? Every morning I have, I try to every morning I have Bible study with my family before I do any of all this stuff, right? Um, and it was talking about how Christ came. And now, if you don't believe in Christ and stuff, this is not me trying to get you to believe in him or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It would be who? It would be smart for you to, but I'm not trying to do that. But biblical business principles is why i am as wise as people think i am it's not me it comes from the father but let's move on christ said after the first and second admonition admonition reject meaning everybody ain't gonna believe you everybody ain't gonna get it you can sit and, and then uh we was just in john and he was talking about he did so many works and miracles while he was on earth that they couldn't even fit it in the Bible. They said no book in the world would be able to fit how many people he healed and the miracles he did. See, y'all just heard about wine and all of that extra stuff, but he did a lot more than that. They couldn't even fit it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But guess what? After all those testimonials, after all that proof, did the Pharisees and non-believers still exist? Absolutely. Exactly. So some for some people, it doesn't matter what you show them. They still going to be skeptical. They still ain't going to believe it. They still ain't going to do it. So the strongest form of proving to a client your worth or partner is literally doing it. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. That sounds like a sin to the Pharisees of marketing, right? Like, we're like, oh, that goes against everything. I'm a high ticket uh, consultant, coach, dude, and professional guy. I got all of these uh, testimonials under my belt and all of that extra stuff. Well, you're wondering why you can't break past a certain amount of money. It's because you have friction with the people that you're serving. When Christ went to go serve people, he didn't have a PayPal button there. He didn't have a, his cash app visible. He didn't have like, so that limits you. It's not, it doesn't mean that you're not valuable, but the most of the people that you run into most of the time haven't heard of you. So now you're going your customer cycle sales cycle is going to have to be lengthened, you know, uh, for them to get to know you and all of that extra stuff. But like I was talking to Curtis about the other night, when you go into the store on Halloween, all of the toys have a button on them that says, what does it say? Try me. Try me. Try me. Uh, when you go to the food court in the mall. Before you can even make it to the table, what 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 happens? All of the dang on restaurants in the food court comes up to you and hands you a sample. Now, how come in marketing we don't have a try me button? All right. I noticed Sam Ovens did something that most agencies don't do. He created a what was it, a week or a two week trial or something like that for his his consultant course or something like that. We're so afraid that people are just gonna take our information and run off with it. That we scare everybody away but this dude was making what 38 million dollars a year or something with his course right and i believe it's because he didn't block anybody uh christ said go to all the nations and preach the gospel your form of that is speaking openly to everybody like whether they hear it for better you're not supposed to be thinking i'm like well what if if i tell them this and they don't sign up no you just give just give as much value as you can. Your sheep will hear your voice, the people that are supposed to work with you. So you're missing out on converting people to follow your your course or your coaching or your um you know agency or whatever. You're mm -hmm. missing out on them because before you've created a miracle for them, before you've healed them, gave them the sight that they never had in marketing, right? Before you uh, uh, spoken the wisdom and put the spirit in them, to to actually have faith that you can do what you say you can do before that you was like all right yeah man so you saw what i did for that dude over there so you know what i'm saying go ahead Here, here's how you pay me now i get it man because even me i still have payment buttons on a lot of stuff right there but if you want momentum guys like now this isn't really counting for an agency to partner I'm, this is now me just talking about client and customer acquisition period if you're trying to reach a high number of people because remember with agency to partner you don't need a lot of partners to make a lot of money but it, for those of you guys like who who are stuck maybe you should change people's lives first right i'm starting to, and i'm still learning a lot of this stuff too i'm not trying to act like i got it all together like i'm learning this as i go through the scriptures and like dog yo that Christ was like, yo, my reward is in heaven. So he didn't have to charge the people up front or none of that because he knew he was getting his payment on the back end. Mm -hmm. So if you approach customers like that, like, yo, he knew what he had. No profit had brought before. He was unique. He knew he was the only right. He knew what he had was was powerful. He knew what he had would save their soul and life. So if you really believe that about your agency or your product or whatever you sell, 
then how come we don't just look for it on the back end? Pause. Right. Right. Because guess what? If you let them try it and it's as potent as you think it is and you learn this from drug dealers, they will come back for more. So what we should be see, see the problem is we don't have confidence. We we don't believe our product is as good as we say it is, right? So we we are afraid to give people samples. What if they don't like it? Then I lose the money, right? right. So what yeah. we should be focusing on is becoming better at our gifts. If you if you're a Facebook ad, ad specialist, become better at it. If you if you're if you're a, a, a LinkedIn recruiter, become better at it. If you be if you're a, a SEO, become like like super sufficient. Cut down on the time for results. Everybody else in the industry thinks it takes three to six months to get results and stuff like that. Well, how don't why don't you figure out how to get people results like in days or the same day or something in SEO? That's going to make you highly desired. Then you can approach a company and be like, look. I noticed that you do this service, you do that service, you do that service, you do that service. Uh, before I reached out to you, I took the liberty of putting your company on Google for that service. So if they were already looking for marketing, like I, I show you guys how to find these people that are already raising their hands, then and, you, and so you combine the fact that they are, you already had demand or they already had desire with the fact that you are now coming bearing gifts. No other person that prospected to them did that. So now they're they're going to work with you if they have any sense in their brain at all. So we're going to get to the main event of what this was about. But I just wanted to go through that because Curtis said something, but I've been talking so long. I don't even remember what he said. But <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, the question. Oh, the question was, how do you prove yourself? That's how we went on that rant right there. The, right. My controversial. Right. Controversial opinion. You can let us know in the comments what you believe. But I go off biblical business principle. So before I didn't really study this in the scripture, but now I see. Right now I see. Like, no, you should you should let them experience it first. Right. You should you should let the, if you're trying to get a client, you should let them experience it first. Even if you got testimonials out the wazoo, because they still have that question. You want to answer every single question that a prospect or or something has. That question is, but but my business is different or I'm in a different area. How do I know it's going to work for me, though? Uh -huh. This my last money. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that stuff. How do I know it's going to work for me? I see it work for them, but like I'll be different, though. They don't be different at all. But that, that in their head, like you have to before they can give you the money. Geez, that question needs to be answered. And I, I was talking to my wife a while back and then, uh, then we're going to get move on about how many people back in the day I messed up on that literally approached with the same deal that we're talking about now. Like we would do prospecting and outreach and stuff. And they'll say, well, you know, my money kind of, you know, right now, but like, yo, how come, you know, I'll cover the, the cost and everything and you be a partner. Like, why, why don't, you know, you just handle the marketing and stuff. And, and you know, when we get a sale, I, I give you, you know, I cover the marketing, I cover the cost though. And I used to be like, nope, Nah, you need because I was listening to YouTubers. Nope, if you ain't giving me the money up front, nope, I'm too valuable for that. Blah, blah, blah. Imagine how many people I passed up through the years and how many businesses are missing millions, how much in millions I'm missing because I passed them up. Now, circle back around. I am now offering the partnership. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And now you see all over YouTube, what are they all trying to convert to? Oh, don't do SMA uh, no more, become a growth partner. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, don't do SEO agency no more. Become a growth. People are starting to realize, yeah, the typical agency model is slavery and it doesn't make sense because you beef up, you beef up this other business and you get left at a retainer. Right. So, right. Curtis, what's the second one, man? What's the second one? Well, let, me, let me just say this one last thing. And I think this could be a tagline. Be a dunner, not a doer. A be a dunner, dunner not, not a doer. doer. The thing is already done. If someone can appreciate when you come in and say what you just said, which was, hey, I have these things. I see you've done these things. Here's what I've done for you. Not here's what I'm going to do for you. When you bring that gift of done it versus doing, you know, it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, it shines more. Yeah, it does. And then that makes another point. So what man. should a new agent Hold on, uh, hold on. Go ahead. That, makes, that brings up another point. It's a dude um, named James Dooley. No, no, no. I don't know if he's the same. No, it's a, it's a different guy. But he's a $100 million SEO. But it's this other guy. Like, in 2015, I, I saw an interview about him. He's from the Middle East. I cannot think of his name. 
but he's like the first SEO to start doing what what you just said, um, Curtis. Uh, and this dude, his first deal was ninety eight million dollars, mm. and it's with who is that plumbing company? Rotary, Rotor, or one one of them plumbing companies, one of the biggest plumbing companies. What he did instead of prospecting plumbers and saying, "I'm going to." go ahead and you know do your marketing for you and rank you and all of that stuff this dude built out in multiple cities and dominated in the plumbing niche collected the resume like i tell people to do like tracked all the calls and stuff like that for like months and months i'm maybe even a year or something like that made sure his assets were solid and then they approached him because it was what you say a done it was done right so all they would have to do is take possession of what was already set up they didn't have to because they had been watching already for a while and they, they they didn't have to wonder if he could get results futuristic they was like damn if we bought this from him we would blow the heck up right so they bought it for 98 million freaking dollars so sometimes if we slow down guys and that's what agency to partner membership is about like slowing down don't you don't need a million partners slow down the more of these 10 monetization methods that you can plug into in each individual partner the more money you will make ultimately to where you don't need a lot of them right okay. so yeah i just wanted to go there yeah because the done the donor thing like that worked if he had approached rotary if he could even get through you gotta understand like there's a huge national company right like they reached him because of the miracle like the scripture says the miracle that he did like he was like yo they was like who is this dude all over the country we never heard of them and they was like man they taking some some of the market space market share from us we gotta buy them out and then they turn it turns out it was just this one solo seo yeah because he had done it he'd done it so if you guys want to prove your worth to a brand new prospect you don't have to spend a lot of money guys or gals you don't have to spend a lot of money take a little time maybe write down a list of free ways you can generate leads okay like do a little bit of research like okay this won't, won't take a lot of time and this won't cost a lot of money. At least I can throw this at them. So when I do uh, give the proposition or proposal or whatever, what I want to do, they know that I can do something. Mm -hmm. Right. So, all right. What's the next part? Actually, th that leads into the next question, which basically answers. I think we've answered the next question, which is what should you do as a new uh, as, a, as a new agency owner? If the client asks you for testimonials, ah, you, yeah. <laughs> you actually the client won't ask you for testimonials if you've done something for them already, because it's go. already proven. There you yeah. go. There you oh, that's go. Like killing it before it's. Yeah, you don't need to. Like, dog, why do I care who you worked with before if when I'm working with you, you're killing it for me? Exactly. Right. Like, why, why do I care what you did? It's just like, even though in relationships, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have the same, you know, philosophy for that. Like nowadays, these these people think oh that's their past that doesn't okay well when you know aids can go 25 years without being recognized so i do think you need to know a little bit about the past history of your 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 partners and, and relationships but but in marketing it's a little bit different it's just like yo when when you read people's reviews my bad this dang on dog out the side of the window y'all i know ghetto right he ripping up holes in the dang on yard. I'm ugh, that dog, right? Okay. Anyway, it's a cliff, and y'all dang on USA uh, uh, um, uh, uh, animal abuse laws ain't gonna come get me. Not just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, right? Um, but it is a cliff right there. No, nah, I'm just playing. All right. Um, okay. So what I was saying, y'all, I just lost train of thought. Sometimes you just need to leave distractions. 
And the dang old dog was tearing up the dang old yard, man. Like, I, 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 listen. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. So, oh, I think, uh, we, should, I think we should go to question three because he said he said that we had already answered. Uh, yeah, it, we had yeah, already I answered it. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I think we. It's got another it. way too, guys. So let's say that you want to be stubborn and you don't want to. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's like a sin to do some free work up front. Okay. But like I told you guys before, there's a guy uh, named Brian. Uh, I can't think of his name because he don't do it no more. He left the game for e-commerce for some reason a couple years back. Uh, but he had something called the Paper Lead Army. And he was teaching people how to make a lot of money selling leads to uh, to to businesses, right? And there's mm-hmm. one thing that I learned from uh, from him, Right. He was finding free ways to get leads. He would use the lead as bait. Even if you do do the work up front, sometimes, guys, sometimes it still won't work with you, right? So what he was doing to ensure that he got somebody, he called it the lead multiplier. So he would take that one lead and he would multiply it. What do I mean by that? Okay, so if we a plumbing lead comes in, and this is just answering the second question just in case you guys don't want to do any free work up front um um he would take that one lead he would look up all of the service providers in that specific area and he would use them against the each other why because it's leverage right like you know if you just come in the game and, and you just have no name then people are skeptical and they don't believe you so let's say that we got joe the plumber then we got ryan the plumber well if we reaching out to joe the plumber we'll tell joe the plumber yo uh joe ryan blank company uh couldn't help help this lead so why don't you call them real quick because i'm telling everybody uh, they need help um, they have an emergency leak or something like that um and they need help immediately so i'm sending this to all of the plumbers in the area i'll let them know that i'm sending it to all the plumbers in the area and then what happens is it become like this auction type frenzy type situation where all of them become calling that lead only one of them is going to be able to service them but now when they call that lead is proof is is validity that you actually generated the lead so what's going to happen is the person's going to say yes yes um i'm already being serviced by a plumber that's what those other people four or five other different plumbers are going to hear that when they call and they're gonna be like dang i missed it then they're going to message you back and they're going to say um yeah man i was too late on that when i was already on a job man uh how, how do we get some more leads coming in and how do we make it to where it's exclusive then you just mess with well you know exclusive leads cost a little bit more right boom there you go there you go so <laughs> don't think that you have to spend thousands of dollars up front for somebody go and spend the tiny he used to teach us brian used to teach go on craigslist put a craigslist post up and get a cheap lead wait for a cheap lead to come in in the market and take that lead and use that mug because it's bait to fish with mm-hmm. somebody's gonna work with you i did the same thing to get like hello realtors back in the day like i'll put up a, a seller lead ad hey if you live in this area we'll buy your house cash off blah 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 soon as somebody came in and I would say, okay, send us pictures of any damage. Send us uh, an appraisal. How much do you think the house would be worth after repair value, all of that? I'll take all of that information and I'll email blast it out to like 50, 60 dang on realtors in the area. And they'd be like, dang, man, yo, I need that. (laughs) You could take one lead, guys. Don't think that you have to do that all day and spend all your money. Get one lead and you'll be able to get multiple clients that you can convert the partner so now let's move on what's question three all right so question three is how do agency owners lower the churn rate of client acquisition Mm. can you want to take a stab at that how do agency owners lower the churn rate of client acquisition what do you think oh me yes oh me (laughs) yes 
<laughs> this is hey guys, this isn't her area of expertise, but we I told her like, but I was, if she wanted I to chime in on something, you know. Okay. Man, she's it she was usually, hey, to my offense, it was a couple of times I was trying to uh chime in, but y'all yeah. got it. <laughs> just let me know and we'll, we'll be quiet i'm gonna do like yeah. i have to we have to practice our signs that we want to i have to put yeah, my hands yeah, like yeah. this Figure yeah. Yeah. Exactly. so i can chime right. in or whatever but right. I, would like to, I would like to see what you guys say think and then i can probably you know think a little bit of what that will mean for you know my company but mm -hmm. yeah Okay, Curtis. Uh, well, also, audience, y'all answer in the comments, man. Don't be scared. Look, if you have experience, then, like, put it in the comments, man. Like, nobody going to join on you or make fun yeah. of you or nothing like that, right? So, Curtis, what do you think is the best way to uh, uh, decrease uh, client churn rate in an agency? So, so one of the, the, the first way well, not the first way, but mindset is very important. I think going into the situation and understanding that, hey, I don't have to churn and burn. I don't need a thousand clients. Uh, I only need a couple of clients. That's the first thing. It's mm. mental mindset. It's it's how you it's how you are approaching the whole business model. That's, yes, that right. becomes really important. So now, now that I understand that I don't have to have a thousand clients in order to make a million dollars, and I don't have to work a thousand hours or 20, 20 hours of the 24 hour day in order to, and seven days a week in order to make a million dollars. Now understanding that and having that in my heart, not just in my head, but in my heart, because my heart will take the action. If I have that in my heart, now I can go forward. Now, how do I reduce the churn? I do an absolute, the best job possible for that one client. And, no. I, lever <laughs> and I leverage every single point that we talk about. I leverage the 10 plus the couple of bonuses where we go into an affiliate army and we leverage partnerships uh, like a Groupon partnership, etc. I leverage all of that in order to maximize the potential for one partner. Oh, and so. I only need it. Right? But so, but so um, let me go ahead so, and lamb back on that <laughs> like he said we'll lamb back on that because we don't eat the we don't eat the pork no, all, right. <laughs> all right so you know what's funny what we just talked about just popped up on my phone eight lessons from booking ten thousand appointments <laughs> Woo. Woo. boy my hey, head hurt man. my head hurt talking to ten thousand people when i do a presentation, even though it might be a lot of people on there, it feel like I'm just talking to one person. I'm not. I don't want to sit and talk to ten thousand people individually. That's crazy. But anyway, all right. How do we reduce the churn rate in an agency for a client? Turn them into a partner. <laughs> turn them into a partner because then you have vested interests the same way they do another reason let me show you guys another reason why it's difficult for you to get clients is because you're getting clients right i know i know that don't make sense if 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 you never done something before look at it like this the client is a lot of those clients either been burnt before or they never paid for marketing before if you've never done something before and don't know what to expect you're nervous, you're afraid, right? And then if somebody don't see clearly, if they don't see clearly what, uh, what would be your penalty for not delivering results, if it doesn't look like you have any skin in the game, it feels like the seesaw is off balance and everything is on them. Do y'all understand? So if you, if you approach as a partner, it literally means to them 
that, yo, you need this to succeed as much as they do. That's right. That is the best way to decrease churn rate. Convert your clients or any potential client into a partner just off top. Let them know how you'll feel the fire if this doesn't work. Like maybe that should even be the first com uh, com um, conversation. Like, yo, uh, this is going to work because if it, if it wasn't to work, I would be, you know, I would have to go through this. I would come out of this. My reputation would suffer this, that, this, that, this, this. I wouldn't be able to make money until this time, that time. Don't you guys remember when we, uh, when you had babies, if some of you guys have babies or you watched a movie maybe, um, and you'll see like when a, when a grown up gets hurt, the babies always laugh. It's, it's, they want to see you suffer too. And that's how your clients are. If, if they give you money, they want to know, like, if this doesn't work, what, like, are you still going to be walking off all jolly and happy and like, ha, got that mf -er. No, <laughs> but if, if you express to them, like, yo, th th I have to make this work. Right. I have to, I have to make this work more than you do. Like, it, then they're like, dang, okay, let's, we're going along for the same ride then. Right. Right. So then they're more open to your creative uh, uh, ideas for marketing and, and all of that stuff, too, if, you're, if they're looking at you as a partner. And then it opens up more opportunities for monetization for you. Right. There's, there's a, another uh, th there's a side benefit to that. And, and I, 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 how do you reduce the churn rate? You never leave. And what I mean by that is it doesn't mean that you don't separate the relationship, but your uh, asset yeah. mm -hmm. never leaves. If you have a payment processing system in place, if you have a marketing system in place that you're getting paid on, if you have other assets in place that the company is relying on to produce income, you can separate from that individual, but you never leave. Yeah, you can check out, but you never leave. But you never leave, yo. That's going into what he's going to be talking about a little bit later, yo. As soon as you get in the agency, the partner membership, the second step for your partner is you're going to start creating the digital twins. These digital twins, you own them either. 100% or 50%, right? You own it, but right. you, you have the right to sell this part of the business, all different types of stuff that you don't get when you're just some freaking marketing agency, right? So like he said, even if you were to decide to, uh, you and your partner were to decide to cut ties, you're going to be so, that like his systems rely on the things that you plugged in. Like the 10 different monetizations are, are a part of their business now. It's right. like a kitchen table. If you cut out one of the legs, it's, it's going to fall, right? Depending on the type of table you got. But you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> right? So it's the same way. So, yeah, retention is extremely high when you get partners the way that we get you, uh, tell you to get partners because you're going to be plugged into them to where if they – were to cancel anything that you helped them with, even after you left, a lot would change in their life and probably not for the good. Okay. So, I, I, so, so Yasriel, I don't think they understand. So let me, let me just like, like give a practical I, example. Yeah, I, I, I built a digital twin and i say i'm gonna go sell my twin for passive income to investors and i get my quarter of a million dollars and i separate yet that digital twin still has the pay system that pays me every single month exactly. i can check out of the relationship mm -hmm. but i did not leave Yep. And you can't get that with the typical agency model. You can't even get that with the new growth partner model. Once you sever the partnership or contracts or whatever you guys be using, uh, um, it's all over. You got to go and find somebody new. Me and Curtis and those of you who get an agency to partner program, 
you guys can still be getting paid years later from people that don't even like you anymore maybe <laughs> i don't know how you cut ties but hopefully it's on good terms but like they literally won't be able to unplug from what you're going to set up guys so you'll be making passive income from people that you probably haven't even talked to in years gotcha. that's why it's stronger than the affiliate marketing business model but it's also stronger than a typical agency model it's like the perfect model because yeah. it's complete leverage right all right so monthly retainer versus partner model which makes the most money I love that. Ali, uh, wait, uh, uh, Kim, go ahead and answer that question. Which one makes Partner. more money? You say what? You say say that again. The monthly retainer business model for agencies are the partner model. Which one makes the most money? The partner model. The partner. <laughs> Why is that? Why is the partner model? Why does the partner model make more money? Because with the retainer. That side is bull crap because that's it. I get paid and that's it. But the partner is keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? Keep it rolling. Yeah. Okay. And and, and let me land back, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> let me land back. We're gonna, on that. In, we're gonna have people in the comments saying that now. Land back. And land, land back. back. Let me land here. back. Um, the, the 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 what Kim articulated was a principle of finite versus infinite hmm. yep i can make on the retainer a thousand dollars twenty five hundred dollars five thousand dollars even ten thousand dollars even ten thousand yeah but that's one aspect of it right and i'm working if i'm making ten thousand if somebody's paying me ten thousand dollars you better know that i'm working and oh by the way if they're paying me ten thousand dollars you better know that they're making at least 20 mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah but now i can i have 10 monetization methodologies Jeez. And a couple of those I really do control. Like, you know, I, I don't necessarily I can, I can help with the with the payment gateway and things of that nature, you know, and drive more traffic and that will increase. But things like email and, and SMS and offers that I can draw, I can control that. I can control. Mm -hmm. you know, I have 10,000 people on the email list every week I could offer something and every week I know for sure statistically somebody's gonna buy something but every no, single no. week every single week see I, <laughs> and, and so I don't my potential every single week you know and if only you know five percent of the people of that 10,000 list buy something that's 50 people, right? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, that, that's 500 people, excuse me. If those 500 people buy something that at a few dollars, I've made that retainer yeah. in the first week. And then I'm going off for something that. See, he didn't just, that's he didn't just drop. Like, go ahead. Yeah. I was saying that's only one of the 10 monetizations. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even leverage my affiliate army or my other partners that came from Groupon that we put together packages. See, this is what I'm saying, y'all. Like, this is not, you're not going to get what you're typically getting in a typical agency model or course. This is not just, oh, this, this is how you go get a client and um, this is how you set up their Facebook ad. And uh, yeah, man, when they, you know, <laughs> every month they're going to pay you. See, with that typical business agency model, and once again, like I did it before and I'm not stumping on it, but we have to all evolve, right? We have to evolve, right? Um, check this out. You have a constant fear. And I am telling you from experience. You have this constant fear. Even when you're getting them good results, you have this constant fear. What if they cancel? Like, I finally got my family good. I finally got some money coming in and stuff. And, and then I make plans for the future. Next month, we're going to go to Six Flags or Raging Rivers or, or we're going to go to Disney World and stuff. And then you get an email that says, hey, I ain't going to be able to afford it this month, man. It was nice knowing you. 
All of you guys watching this have that fear. I don't care what videos you upload. I don't care. You know that tomorrow or this in the morning, you can wake up and all of them, because I've experienced it, can be like, yeah, man, it's a scamdemic going on. It's 2020. Uh, you know, businesses are suffering. I ain't going to be able to pay you no more, bro. And then, boom, overnight, 90% of your freaking uh, uh, income is gone. You got that fear. You know you got that fear. But guess yeah. what? When you become a, a partner of these businesses without investing in them, it doesn't matter if they cut the retainer that you have. That's right. Like Curtis said, whenever their company gets a... Okay. All right. We're, we're back. We're, we're back. back. We're back. I don't know what that was. Cam, you got to unmute yourself. Okay. All right. We're She's unmuted. I don't know. Hey, y'all, we are in Panama, <laughs> and the, the internet is crazy, right? So it might happen like that sometimes. But, like, I don't even know if y'all know what happened on the other side. I don't think it does anything for the viewers when it cuts off. Maybe that's just for us. But anyway, it's back now. Um, what I was saying is when, when, whenever they get a sale, we get a piece of that. Whenever they get uh, uh, somebody swipe their credit cards through the business, whether that's in person or on a website, we get a piece of that, guys. Whenever uh, um, they decide to get funding, we're going to get a piece of the 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 the, uh, the loan. And if we set it up properly, we'll get a piece of whatever they're buying because we'll be the referral partner of the office supplies or the, the new commercial restaurant or something like that. Whenever they come to us and say, yo, I need new chairs for the restaurant or something, we will go and find in partnership with the, the company that they're going to buy from. So you're going to have infinite possibilities of income just off of your one two or three partners a month you don't need a million right and then we have other like 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 uh curtis was talking about now since they're your partner you have equal rights to the emails lists that they had before you met them as well as the new emails that come in and the sms for you to be able to uh, uh, remarket retarget and sell other products that are related in that niche all That's of that right. belongs to everything digital belongs to you and you're leveraging that that partner in order to build your digital twin so it's, it's it's hopefully that gave you guys a little bit more you know there's a lot more inside the agency the partner membership uh where you'll know how to actually implement this stuff like we have it to like step 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 we got a lot of mindset stuff in there but then we got the step, 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 step for you to actually plug in the stuff and go. Absolutely. If you already have clients, you can go in there today and you can start Literally. converting partners. Absolutely. They're not going to turn down the deal because it's, it's better for them too. Right? All right. Yeah. Anyway. That was good. I, I think the other thing that, that is important is once you've done some of that stuff, the business owner now not only looks at you as a partner, but relies on mm. you. And mm. they, I mean, at some point, they really can't let that go because you're their go to person. Even if you don't know nothing, uh, Curtis, I, I, I need some chairs. I don't know nothing <laughs> about getting no chairs, but they came to me first because mm. I've done all this other stuff for them, yeah, right? Exactly. So. I think that's important as well. For sure, for sure. All right, let me go on. We talked about monthly retainer versus partner uh, par partner model and who makes the most money. What's the future of marketing agencies? Now, that's a good one. That's an interesting one. What's the future of marketing agencies? You want to take that question first? Well, I'll let you take it first. You, you go first okay. on that one. Well, first of all, we want to hear what y'all are talking about because then we'll be able to create more... Um, uh, informative and valuable uh, videos in the future for you guys that's out here for free for those of you who are not inside the agency the partner membership which you should definitely be inside there though but uh, <laughs> we want to help you guys out here on YouTube space too right so make sure you're, in, you're, you're engaging and asking questions and answering questions in the comments so that we can like actually really 
make this stuff work for people, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the future of marketing agencies is ever evolving, okay? Um, there will be an endless future for platforms. Uh, there will be an endless future for tips, tricks, and strategies, right? So that's not what you need to look forward to. If you lost out, if you missed out on dominating YouTube and stuff, it's okay. Don't cry. It will be a new one. If you missed out on TikTok, it will be a new one. If you missed out on Instagram, so on, so forth, don't cry about that. That's not what you need to master. What you need to master is formulas, biblical business principles and formulas, laws of marketing that don't change no matter what year platform or device you're on so what is the future of marketing the future of marketing is the same as the past and that is partnerships and i'm not just saying this because of uh agency to partner for those of you who think that let me clarify let me show you exactly what i'm talking about the scripture says be ready to give every man an answer so i know y'all like what is he talking about the future of marketing is partnerships well how about this um it was a dude in 2011 like i ran into his video and it changed it helped change everything and this dude without any ad spin without any like website without any of that stuff became a millionaire just through joint venture partnerships he would do what i usually talk to you guys about lead swapping he would find two different businesses that complement each other and he would set up a lead deal with both companies and he would say how much will you give me if i bring you a lead They'll tell him. Then he'll go to this other company and say, how many, uh, uh, how much will you give me if I bring you a lead? Then mm -hmm. they will tell him. Then he will tell them, okay, sometimes I'm going to send you uh, leads, you know what I'm saying, for this. Uh, let me know whenever you, pay attention, whenever it's someone you can't help, let me know. So he will wake up with an inbox full of people that uh, that specific partner couldn't help that he would then be able to take to the other partner and sell to this partner over here so let's say you got two plumbers and this plumber only services the 63118 area code in st louis but this other plumber services St. Ann in St. Louis, which is a 63074 area. The 63074 area, he's ranking higher on Google for a plumber. So somebody calls him and says, yo, I need an emergency plumber. He says, what's your address? They say, I stay on Tower Grove near Arsenal. That's near the 63118 area code. So he's going to tell them, oh, I'm um, sorry, we don't come out that far, but I got a guy for you. I'm going to send him your information and he's going to call you. So now that guy calls me, the joint venture partnership guy, gives me that lead that he couldn't service. Now I call the plumber from the 63118 area code and say, I got a guy off of Tower Grove and Arsenal that needs an emergency plumber. Um, should I charge a card for this? What card do you want me to charge for this? Do you do you guys see why I say that's the future of uh, partnerships or the future of marketing? I just showed you guys a business model right there that doesn't require a website. The few, uh, uh, you're only one funnel away. It was no funnel. It was no website. It was no box. It was no nothing. It was partnerships. Oh, oh, you still don't get it? Well, let's go back to ancient times, to the first MLM ever. There's a guy that you guys might have heard of before. You know him as Christ. Well, he was the strongest, more, most powerful flesh to ever walk the earth because he came straight from the Father. But did he let that stop him? He needed to get his message to the four corners of the earth because he was only going to be here for three years in the flesh. And the best right. way he thought to do that was to make partnerships, train, teach, recruit disciples the first ever mlm partnerships 
thousands and thousands of years ago. So what's the future of marketing when, when the dust has cleared and the smoke is cleared and when Facebook becomes MySpace and YouTube becomes Vimeo and your email list dries up, one thing that will still exist if humans exist will be partnerships. So that's why that's the future of marketing agencies. I, I cannot, uh, I can't add to that. Uh, I will only hop on the side, like, like one of those, you know, those, those, uh, you know, how they have those scooters or yeah. those, uh, motorcycles and you got a little, yeah, and got the little uh, side right there. I, I will, <laughs> I will add the notion that says in that little cubby hole, there's always innovation. And there's always formulas for innovation. And um, part of that, we've seen the evolution of, you know, partnerships from 3,000 years ago to partnerships up through Groupon, right? And, and, mm -hmm. and I would add things like partnerships as it relates to virtual partnerships. A Groupon, it literally, you know, you... You are a marketing person and you have another person over here and you have another person over here. You put all that package together and boom, all of a sudden yep. you have a virtual business center that you didn't have before. That's innovation. Still partnerships, so, you know, still partnerships, but it's innovative partnerships. And that that could so. be certainly one of the things. So, but so. Okay. So, to say that more plainly, definitely platforms and partnerships, man. Both of them start with PP, right? That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Yeah, man. All right. That's so one, 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 one last question. It says, how can, and, I'll, and you will answer this first, and then I'll come in. How can the eight R's help existing agencies? Okay. Um, well, the eight R's are simply going to be uh, a more uh, strategic and detailed way of plugging in the 10 monetization methods that we go over inside the uh, agency to partner program. You guys are going to learn through the, the eight R's how to build up the Cinderella equity of your digital twin that if you decide to one day, because you could keep it as passive income if you want to, right? But if you decided to, you would be able to go anywhere, whether that is uh, Empire Flippers or some type of private equity firm or biz by sell, and you will be able to sell your digital twin. All right, so the eight R's are just the way to build up the strategic like step-by-step -step formulas uh, uh, an implementation of the 10 monetization methods that will increase the worth of your digital twin guys. So there you go. Uh, that, that, that is, that is absolutely excellent. You know, what, what we did was we, we aligned, you know, all of the digital twin, uh, ours, the innovations and, and took all of the, like the steps and just kind of show you, how that step is this innovation and here's what you can do and some of them are bonus steps so for example we, we talk about how you can repurpose a particular group right and and you 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 you're using emails and sms but you repurposing right but you can also take that to the next level with things like affiliate armies you yeah. can also take that to the next level with things like partnerships. And then there's a next level. So you have an affiliate army and you have a partnership and you go, wait a minute. These partners also have potential uh, uh, affiliate armies. So if I have a, a dentist and a, a, or a massage therapist and a chiropractor and a chiro person, right? They all have... They all, all three of them have email lists, right? Mm -hmm. Now they come together 
they form their own affiliate army in which everybody's now taking advantage of that. That's leverage on top of leverage on top of leverage. leverage. Yeah, for sure. That's, I mean, that, that, man, that's, that's the word of 2024, y'all. Leverage, man. Leverage. Absolutely. And so all of the R's merged with all of the steps, the step by step, because that is just absolutely beautiful. And then you get to the most important R. Well, actually, there's 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 two. The tail end of the the R's are really really important. Reassessing. How do you reassess the business? So I show you up front how to value the business, and then you do all of these steps. How do I reassess the business? Because now the business is in two pieces. There's the physical business, and then there's the digital twin, the virtual business in which I've taken all of the income from the uh, on the digital side and put it into the digital business. So now I have an assessment of that business and an assessment of the physical business, right? right. So how do I assess that business together? And then how do I either divest or continue to go, you know, what's the ways that I can divest? How can I get, now I've done this work. I've done three, four months worth of work. Fastest time ever that I could have got a valuation of over a million dollars, right? In three or four months. You couldn't have done that. You couldn't have done that at all with a, just a physical business. Three or four months. Now For I've sure. done that. And now I'm like, okay, I want to get some money out of this thing. What is, what, what, how can I do that? You know, you have groups that you can start, you have investor groups, you have online. Uh, here's a, here's a thing for everybody. Go to, go to uh, biz by sell or go to uh, guiding light or empire flippers. And you can see those digital businesses for sale. And you can see what I call what their multiple is and, and you can see how much money you can take out of that particular business. You don't have to divest yourself totally. You could go and crowdfund and give a portion of your business, you know, to to that crowdfunding platform, basically, and get extract money. That I mean, we talked about, you know, hey, how how much is it? How much is your agency really worth? on a somebody can pull the plug versus this this partnership has not only is it you know providing passive income it is an entity in which i can sell you know mm -hmm. you can't sell your your you cannot sell your retainer yeah, and your you retainer is, is worth exactly what you're getting for it three thousand dollars a thousand dollars five hundred dollars that's what your retainer is worth Whereas so somebody, hold on, Curtis, somebody's going to jump in and say, well, I heard that this other agency sold their agency. And yeah, they, they, they can sell their agency, but what they don't really disclose majority of the times is how much they sell it for. Most of the time they're selling it not to a private investor or some real business buying uh, company. They sell it to other agencies right. and other agencies aren't going to be able to pay you what a private uh, equity firm right. or real VC and, and all of these people will be able to pay you for a business. So what Curtis is saying, guys, mm -hmm. if all you have, like, cause it's, it's not the same thing. Like, Having retainers is not worth as much because, okay, it's the same reason why PayPal don't like marketers. It's the same reason why PayPal and Stripe tries to block you when you tell them that you have an agency because chargebacks, high refunds, you understand? Well, like it's, it's an unstable business model. It could be worth millions this year and then it could be worth fifty thousand dollars next year depending right. on the economy or how how That's the clients woke up the next morning right so yeah it's it's different but if you build if you use the clients or the partners to build the digital twin that is something that is constant and worse you understand what i'm saying like 
it and and it it not only increases the value of the digital twin itself, but like Curtis was saying, being attached to the physical, it increases the the worth uh, uh, um, uh, of the actual entire like company. Period. Right. right. If you guys wanted to, if you guys decided that you wanted to sell it as a whole, then it would really make a crap load of money. Then, right. But anyway, go ahead. So, so one thing that you said that that I think is really, really important is when you talked about how you know the the agency that retainer, you better have an ironclad, solid retainer type of agreement that almost guarantees okay for the next two i have a three-year deal you know it almost yeah, have to be like an yeah. nba nfl deal i have a three-year yeah. deal that's that i can take somebody to court with not a yeah, i have yeah. a i have a deal and you know joe blow wakes up the next morning he says hey you know things are looking down i'm not gonna be able to afford you uh that yeah, that yeah. type of that's on a hit and miss and so Exactly. And the type of stuff that we're talking about, if that business is open, you're making money. The only way that, that up? what we're talking about, that you don't make money is the business has closed. And I've had businesses close. So I know if that business don't make any money. Now, here's the difference. If I had had this model, the digital side would have still been going. Interesting enough. I was just about to stuff. say that, man. Hey, you, you knew where I was going, man. I was just about to say still been going. Yeah, even even if the physical one shut down, guys, don't forget we leveraged that partner to build a digital side. So then we can redirect the lead and customer flow to a new partner, right? Like we can redirect whoever needs to do the fulfillment to a brand new partner if let's say it's a restaurant and we built up like you know this digital entity for mexican food okay casa Guardiado, they closed down right okay well guess what it's this hacienda type restaurant down the street and we can just redirect all the mexican food inquiries and traffic to them down there so our digital uh, a digital twin is still worth as much as it was worth when the uh, our initial partner first started up right we so, still I mean, have all the specials we still can put together all of the all of the auxiliary uh type of offers to them we still can you know make all other type of affiliate partnerships we still have the the uh the affiliate army still available you know all of those things so so my bad that I did not, you know, think about that from that perspective. But if even if the physical goes away, the digital is still there, and you can still don't make forget money. too. Uh, don't forget also, like even if the business shuts down, you still got the list of the customers from that business. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, we we this is why it's important, guys. That's why at the beginning when he asked the question about the uh <clears throat> you know showing your worth and all of that extra stuff um dude like you guys we all should be striving to get partners no matter what do not let some oh they can't afford to pay me up front stuff stop you from getting partners if these people are getting traffic if you're doing your research and, and now if, right. if they're a company that's just setting up and you is going to be a headache, like getting them traffic and all of that, then, OK, whatever. Maybe you do need some money up front. But if they're already doing good and all you're about to do is jump in front of the traffic, like you're just literally about to jump into the money. Right. If, if that's the situation, then and they, and they don't want to pay you up front as long as they agree to your partnership agreement allow you to plug in at least majority of the 10 monetization methods that are going to be painless to them. They're not even going to notice, right? As long as they allow you to do that, then don't trip off of the upfront. Now I know we be having like emergency situations where we need money. Fine. Then get that, get that, but then get right back to the partnership mindset. You need the partnership. The partner do whatever you got to. That's why we said at the beginning, yo, I mean, you hear me? Like, 
if they're already doing good, that means just by plugging in a few of the monetization methods, you'll start making money within the 48 hours that you start working with them. Depending on what they already got set up, maybe 24 hours. It just it depends on what they allow you to plug in. But you're you're not going to be dead if they don't give you money up front. So we wanted to come on here so that we can help more than anything change the mindset because we've been so programmed through all these agency YouTube videos. Yeah, man, I just got to, you know, they just paid me $10,000. You know what I'm saying? I just met them three days ago. And I'm, you know, I've had videos like that too, guys. But like I said, we have to evolve. You're slowing your growth down by putting barriers to entry. All right a, a while back i did a video i was in mexico you remember that uh video um mm -hmm. the thumbnail was disney world i think i had mickey mouse on that mug or something right and it's called creating a theme park product and i was talking about how most theme parks now disney and six flags and stuff like that they their brand is so powerful that that you'll pay right at the gate, right? You, they're still going to get millions of people. But most like town uh, carnivals and theme parks and stuff like that, they don't have a ticket price. You walk right in. They understand that the more people come in, the more money they're going to make because you're going to want to take pictures. You're going to want that stretched penny. That's why the zoo is free. You're going to want... Uh, the dip and dots ice cream. You're going to want the funnel cake. You're going to want the giant turkey leg. You're going to want to ride all of that extra, uh, uh, those extra rides. You're going to want to play in the arcade if they got one. Shoot down the dang on teddy bears that you got to pay a quarter to play. You're going to want to hit the dang on giant hammer and and all you're gonna want to do all of that stuff and all of that stuff costs. So the the cost of the ticket a hundred bucks you're scaring them away from paying you three, four, five hundred bucks when they come in with their entire family. Right? So right. we have to start thinking like that with the theme park product. Okay. Like even even me back in the day, before I got caught up in a lot of this bull crap that YouTube brings, remember back, uh, when I used to have uh, my first beta version of the Effa job uh, school, my courses used to be free. You remember that? And I used to monetize them with CPA offers and uh, affiliate offers. You remember that? So I didn't have a, a gateway where they had to pay or anything like that. They can literally just start doing the course work immediately. And I set it up strategically, just like a theme park, that if you want to enjoy or benefit from the course theme park, that you would need this tool, you would need this software, you would need this document, you would need this, right? If I, you create theme park products, then you don't really have to have a barrier to entry. So I think we need to get back to that, guys, because you're you're slowing, we're all slowing our growth rate when we just smash $5,000, $20,000 in somebody's face. If they come to you and be like, yo, I got this much money, I'm ready to pay you today, then cool. But if you re if you know you can get somebody great results and they'll be a great partner and you approach them and they be like, yeah, but I can't pay you up front. Then I'm like, oh man, like, okay. Have confidence in the 10 monetization methods that you're going to plug in your theme park. Have exactly. confidence in that. Right. So, okay, fine. You can't pay me up front. For example, we're about to start. We're going to show you guys this limo company. Uh, this dude reached out to me, right, and been emailing me like crazy. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna use him as a case study. He didn't pay up front, but that does not deter me. It used to, but that does not deter me anymore because the ten monetization methods. <laughs> he got seven vehicles. He's in Miami, so. Whatever little chump change he was going to pay me up front is nothing in comparison to when we start running some traffic through that business. That's right. That's right. Because I was going to turn him away. The the devil on your shoulder. That's the that's the agency 
Iman Gazi uh, uh, <laughs> model right there. Like, like, dog, you got to pay charge these Negroes uh, fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Code. I'm a high ticket Dan Loke consultant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, but now you can only deal you you're limiting your reach now. Uh-huh. So, like I said, only you you can only you only need a few partners. But if what if you wanted to now, if you don't have any barrier to entry, and all you have to do is plug in the ten monetization methods, you can literally move from partner to partner to partner to partner to partner to partner. Now imagine how fast your income and his passive income and his recurring income daily income let me show them a a, 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 a site and then we're gonna um close out i'm gonna show them a site and then i'm a i'm a um hold on let, while you're doing that let me just say this really quick you know we talk about we, we go back and forth about whether you want to own the digital all yours or you want to you know partner with and give you know the owner a portion of that digital it's much easier to give the owner because my opening slide to the owner or my opening sabo is let me show you how we can double the value of your company in the next days Right. And so if they're interested in doubling the value of their company in the next 90 days, it's <laughs> what, what do I have to do? OK, I need we're going to do this, 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 and this. I don't have any barrier around the notion of, well, I don't want you to have my email list because it's you going to benefit. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Don't- Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want you to have this and I don't want you to see that because you're going to benefit. And I would take 50% of an increased value of a million dollars in that business and go on to the next one and the next one because I'm it, I, it's least resistance. Yes. And I and now because I am going deeper down the well of the partnership and the 10 monetizations plus a couple including partnerships uh bigger partnerships and and uh like affiliate armies if i'm if i'm really really understanding those and really really mastering those i could do this all day long exactly exactly (laughs) yeah man let us know in, in the comments if y'all learn something from this session, we're gonna be bringing Curtis, and we're gonna you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of both of them, Curtis and Kim, because we want to help you guys. You know, 2024 is y'all year and beyond. You understand? And, and but you have to level up your thinking. Don't just think about leveling up your income, because your body and your actions follow your mind. So if you're still thinking in old traditional stale frictional models then your income is going to be just like trust me man there's a lot of stuff that hold me back that i'm still working on breaking out my finances aren't where they could be as if i if i had implemented this stuff years ago before the scamdemic the scamdemic took out 80 percent of my freaking online assets and stuff uh when google did their they're updated and took all of my Google, my business listings out in one swipe. I had hundreds of them and stuff, right? But if I had, the only thing that kept us afloat during that time when 80% of my freaking income went out was partnerships that I already had set up before the scamdemic came. Mm-hmm. That was the only thing that, that had us. And we was in a whole different country, Mexico. Like, what the heck was we going to do? No family, nothing. So, guys, this is why we preach this partnership stuff, because it gives you room. It gives you space. It gives you comfort. It gives you a uh, uh, cushion. You understand right. what I'm saying? And it allows you to grow and leave that rock bottom place that you're at. Because if you got an agency, even if you had $50,000 a month, you're still at rock bottom in my book because you're a slave. OK, tell me you're not. OK, anyway, um, you're going to show you that. The screen real quick. Uh, and this will just help you because then you'll, you'll be able to see. I, I'm so sick. Even though I just did a video, guys, a lot of this stuff is just bait for y'all. You know what I'm saying? When I do these titles with certain numbers in them, ooh, this is how you can make this much per month. It's because I know that's what y'all click on 
that's what your mind is preoccupied. You want to make $10,000 a month. But how are you going to help the world with $10,000 a month? How are you going to save the world with $50,000 a month? You know how many people in the world? You know what you've been called to do? Like, you know how great you are? What the heck are you going to do? You shouldn't put a number on your gift. All right? So let me give you guys a little bit of something that can boost your drive. Maybe Red Bulls will give you wings, but this should give you money. Bow. Go to this site to paltcom forward slash profit dash per dash second. Okay. Now this, this website right here shows you, and I'm about to show you guys the amount of money per second that the largest companies in the world are making. <clears throat> you want to know why I don't talk about how much I make? <clears throat> because it's, in, it's embarrassing. When you come to this site, it humbles you. That's why I, I love visiting this site because you guys will get to <clears throat> all I see is these titles. Ooh, uh, my agency, how I made my agency a hundred thousand dollars per month. What I'm going to show you guys can only be achieved when you evolve. What I'm going to show you guys is a combination of what Curtis was saying, platforms and partnerships, not the traditional agency model. You're not going to see any of them on this list when I show you the amount of money that these people are profiting per second. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, the world's biggest companies generate an incredible amount of money each year with tech giants such as Apple posting annual profits as much as $57 billion. Okay, cool. But we got to break that down for you to understand what that truly means. And then you'll see why you can't sit and do some one-on-one -on -one uh, my calendar is book crap. You think that's going to get you to a billion? Let's move. I'm going to show you. Apple, number one. Number one on the list is Apple. Apple is making $1,820 per second. $109. Thousand dollars. This I, I'm at a hundred and nine. I mean, I'm at a hundred thousand dollars per month with my marketing agents. <laughs> Apple is making a hundred and nine thousand dollars per minute. This is why I don't sit up and brag about how much I made before or how much I make currently. Because when you look at sites like this, it lets you know that you haven't made a, a dent scratch grain of pepper salt nothing in the world nothing now i'm not saying that your gift guy giving no, gift is defined by your money but what i'm saying is you guys watching right now marketers are prideful so you guys care about your money all the time don't act like you don't so i'm just trying to bring you back down to earth and humble you and let you know that we got work to do we got work to do and you're not going to be able to get I usually don't like to tell somebody what they're going to be able to do, but you're not going to be able to hit numbers like this with a traditional retainer. You're not. Prove me wrong. Name a company. Even the ones I showed you this uh, today where I told you about the $100 million uh, dollar SEO dude. Look at the profit per day for Apple. Can somebody other than me read that? Because maybe they're sick of hearing me. Well, how much is that per day profit for Apple? Anybody? A of, that's a lot of money. It is. It's, I don't even. That's a hundred and fifty-seven million dollars. Two hundred ninety thousand four hundred and eleven. I'm saying I can't, even, I can't even say it because it's like, damn, that's a lot of money for that per day. I'm seeing videos where people upload no. <laughs> how I make a million per month and stuff like that. And sometimes your mind will get caught up in that because of whatever financial situation you're in right now. But then that will lessen your, your abilities, guys. Y'all don't understand. That will lessen your abilities. If you sitting and watching how I made my first million or how I made $5,000 per month, that's going to lessen what you're actually capable of. I don't give a I don't care about no first million when he goes in an hour, 6.5 million. Now, now, and this is the whole point about agency to partner guys. Now I'm not saying that we're there cause I'm nowhere near there. And I'm not saying that uh, uh, you'll be there. Okay. 
But what I'm saying is agency to partner membership puts us all on the track to be doing the same things that got these people there. Apple owns platforms. We got the Mac. We have the iPad. We have the iPhone. On those platforms, they created partnerships with app developers, technicians, designers, coders, and said, you can promote your stuff on my platform so everybody that buys one of these devices. And now Apple gets a cut of all of that from owning the platform and controlling the partnership. Right. Are y'all getting this? Are you seeing what I'm talking about? So if anything's going to put you on a track to making this type of money, platforms, which is why I tell you guys to own your own platforms, directories, affiliate networks, all of that, platforms. Yeah partnerships that's that you got an iphone watching this right now or an android you can't run even if you got android we got google play store right here platforms partnerships okay so quick and caught up in all that yo i made this much even when you see my videos if the title is that guys listen don't get caught up in that that's the, the whole goal is for you to have limitless. We want to be limitless, you know, like the movie, but limitless, right? Okay. Like, I don't even like making titles like that. I wish you guys wasn't so attracted to that bull crap. But Damn. if I don't put that in the title, then you won't. You know, I'm supposed to, like the scriptures say, I'm supposed to speak to them in a the language. I got to speak to y'all in a language that y'all know. Right, so that's what y'all click on. So that's how I attract you, which sucks. Now we go to Microsoft, which is next. And one thing I want to emphasize or, or highlight is the fact that the people we're talking about on this list, they're not stuck behind our computer doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. They're not stuck behind their computer uh, uh, book, booking their calendars. Like I, when you, you look at the billion, the millionaire and the billionaire morning routine videos. <laughs> Man, dog, a lot of these people don't even get up. I remember Jeff Bezos, he said something about some, he just, he don't go into the office until around 11 a.m., do a meeting and then leave, and then maybe uh, do a, a meeting from home at around 5, and that's it. <laughs> while we all change to our computers, or while you're all clocked in at your job, these dudes, they own the platform and the partnerships, and they get to live life how God intended us to live abundantly with freedom. So agency to partner membership was created so that we can start freeing ourselves. Absolutely. Okay, so Microsoft, 44, I mean, dog, look at this. Profit per second. 1404 bucks. Now, a lot of you guys, and me, myself included, are guilty of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Our client would be $1,500 a month. Now, think about how many seconds are in a month. You, do you see, do you see what I'm, y'all see what I'm talking about, right? And we'll think we the king of the freaking land when we get a retainer for fifteen hundred dollars a month we stunting we on instagram flashing we on all of that we got e mine guys no offense we got all these dudes riding around copping their little rolls royces and their little little uh, automars or whatever it is getting fifteen hundred dollar a month client while wow, we got companies out here making fourteen hundred dollars a second eighty four thousand dollars a minute. I just saw a video the other day. Oh, we just reached our first eighty thousand dollars a month in client retainers. Now, in the comments, it's gonna seem like I'm hating. I'm not. Whatever. See, this is the thing. I was just about to bite my own tongue. I was about to say whatever frees you, but that don't free you. That that's the matrix I was talking about. You think when you created the agency, it freed you from your job because you was able to put your name on the check now? But it didn't. But you're still tied to somebody. When we create the digital twin through these, we're leveraging the partner to build our digital twin. We could say sayonara if we wanted to. 
I mean, freaking Jeff Bezos don't even own Amazon no more, but he's still the richest man in the world based off of how he structured it. Well, one of the richest men now. Come on, y'all. Then we got Berkshire Hathaway, $1,300 per second. Like, even if we go to the lowest, like, we can view all of these. Like, come on, guys. Like, I'm seeing even affiliate videos where, where they're talking about, yo, I'll show you how to make $100 a day. And that's cool because that, that, that helps people that never made anything online. But then we got to start graduating and knowing that there's something more. It's not about greed. It's about the fact that these are the people that move the world because they are capable of doing it now. So if we sit and complain about governments. We sit and complain about presidents and laws and rules and all. These people can look at who's getting voted and just jump the country. Mm -hmm. Or they can buy who's getting voted in. Do you do you do y'all understand what I'm talking about? Like we gotta level up our mindset. Even this one, even the lowest. Come on, like. 165 bucks per second. For $14 million a day. I remember the first way, the first time I woke up was when I realized that Coca Cola was making $19 million a day. I said, How the heck do you make. People don't even make that in a lifetime. Or, matter of fact, just based off of our history as a people, we haven't even made $19 million in generations. $19 million a day? That lets you know that you're in a different era. And we have the internet, we have computers, and we have people. You are fully equipped to make moves, no matter what you look like now. Like, dog. So, I'm sorry. Y'all see how passionate I get? Okay, now then went up. This is Pepsi right there. Oh, yeah, I was right. 19 million. So it's still there. Right. So in CVS, this is exactly. And CVS ain't even ain't even old and they're making 19 million dollars a day. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these companies, guys, you be like, of course, they've been around since the 1800s. Pro Progressive haven't been around since the 1800s. And look at them. What, yes. what is this? 15 million dollars a day. eBay haven't been around since the 1800s. 15 dollars a day. All state. $15 million a day. Qualcomm, $14 million. Adobe, y'all know what Adobe is. $14 million a day. So I don't want to hear it. This has never been a better time. You're creating digital twins? You can literally, within a, a span of years, look, look at this. We set this stuff up right, y'all. You can make moves. Then you don't care about the governments. You don't care about the laws. You don't care about none of that. Only the poor citizens of the world care about what the government is talking about. And I'm just being real. I remember being at the job and that's all they would talk about while we sitting up there waiting uh, for a bus trip. Yo, who y'all gonna vote for? Now, I don't really like that new guy they gonna do. This, this, this. Who cares? They own family ain't voting for them. <laughs> who cares? Okay, so... I just wanted to throw this out there because you guys need to go over. If you see the first pin comment, you'll see agency to partner. I'm not going to beg you. I'm not even going to ask you guys what you going to do. That's what I'm going to ask you. Like, we're trying to set you up for stuff like this to be on that path. Like, I don't know what you're going to do. God give you your your abilities and stuff. But this, at least we we are trying to enlighten you. And put you on the path to where you're not stuck in slavery still. So while you got your nice clothes on, while you're eating at the fanciest restaurants, wake up in the morning and look at this and humble yourself and calm your little butt down and start really trying to build something. Platforms, partnerships, platforms, partnerships. The link is in the first pinned comment. We enjoyed you guys watching. Uh, Curtis, if you wanna if you wanna say anything before we ride off into the sunset, no, uh, actually, yes, Rio, I think you said it all. Quite honestly, I think that they, I, I think that as we continue to evolve the conversation and we get more into the the steps and the R's and and talking about them, people will have a greater appreciation. 
And the time to do it is now. The time to mm -hmm. take action is now. The time to, you know, get out there and and put your feet and, and solidify for the next quarter, you know, your all the actions because quite honestly, you have two or three clients now and you could have four or five clients and that's really all you need. Um, it, 2024 can be your biggest year. It can be your highest profitable uh, earning year that totaled every year that you lived or been working. You know, it could be, you know, you could have a $5 million and that's probably more than you've earned over your lifetime. And so mm -hmm. um, I would just encourage people to really look this over again. It may come in a few parts, but look, watch this video to really understand the breakthrough, the, the innovation, and it's kind of revolutionary, quite honestly. Imagine not having to no money, no financial risk or legal risk, no employee, independent, being independent of brick and mortar itself, but having an entity that could be worth much more than the brick and mortar. That same hundred thousand dollars is worth five hundred thousand dollars or even a million dollars of valuation, which means that now my business is worth much more, which means I can extract much more. We have the 10 monetization methods already that's in there, but now you're cloning the company. You're making a digital copy of the company to where even if that business, and, and the, the crazy part about it is the company itself, like the business owner is funding you to create your digital copy. All righty, all righty. Welcome back to the Agency to Partner channel, formerly known as the artist known as Prince. No, I'm just playing. Um, Anti-Job University. Okay, today we have a <laughs> student turned partner named Curtis. He's going to introduce himself, and then we're going to talk to you guys about the relaunch of the agency, the partner program. So if you didn't get in at four ninety seven, I don't know what's wrong with you because it is going to be going up to about five grand, and you are going to find out why that will still be an awesome deal for you today. So Curtis, my man, go ahead and introduce yourself. All right. So I'm Curtis Witt. I am the the one of the founders of the Cinderella Equity Group. Uh, and we'll talk about what Cinderella Equity is. Uh, but uh, over the last year and a half, uh, me and some partner firms have bought uh, in upwards of 10 businesses. Uh, some of those businesses are doing very well. Uh, some of them are not doing so well, and which got me to where we are now and how we changed our business model to, show, to, to uh, take away and alleviate a lot of the headaches that we have as business owners and, and trying to run the day-to-day -day operation. And so um, we run a little small micro private equity fund and looking forward to this interview because this is going to be great. And, yeah. and the stuff that you're doing fits, you know, magically well in what we're doing. All right. So let's get yeah. to it, guys. That's his introduction, man. This dude is marvelous. Okay. So make sure you guys stick around. And I apologize. I'm kind of lazy. I don't feel like doing all the shining light YouTube -y stuff and all of that is a little bit dark here and it's about to start the Panamanian thunderstorms in a minute, the quiet storms like back in the day, right? <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about agency to partner. That's the program that I put in place uh, to help agency owners, S-M-M-A, uh, S-E-O, AI automation, uh, any type of digital marketing agency, convert their current clients into partners, growth partners, profit share partners. Um, even if you need new people, you're not going to be going after clients. You're going to be going after partners so that you can take equity in the company as Curtis is going to explain more about it today. And so that you can get a piece of every single sale that comes through that company. Soon you become the third leg pause of that company where they can't survive without you because you increase their value so much and it's attached to you, which is how we're going to segue into the digital twin today, because I know you guys saw the title. 
creating digital twins of already successful companies to make money online and probably sell them mugs. You understand what I'm saying? This is super exciting, right? So I would absolutely you guys forgive me and ignore the fact that uh, i mean who cares most of you guys are dudes you shouldn't be trying to look at my face any dang on way so just focus on what the voices are saying the information edification and education that you're gonna get today all right curtis go ahead man uh tell them a little bit um more. so um, imagine go ahead no no i didn't say anything you go ahead okay so when we when we were doing Okay. When we were doing our businesses, one of the, some of the big problems that we had is, uh, and I made a list of all the things that I did not like about running a business. I had to put money up. I had financial responsibility and legal responsibility. I had employees. I had, I, I was, there. Uh, imagine not having to, no money, no financial risk or legal risk, no employees. Independent, being independent of the brick and mortar itself, but having an entity that could be worth much more than the brick and mortar, leveraging all the assets of the brick and mortar, yet you don't own, you don't necessarily run, you control, but you don't own the brick and mortar. You you also have a, a separate entity that's scalable very quickly. It's also, it, you, you have passive income it's really once you set it up it's not a lot of maintenance that go along with that you can create wealth very quickly with this and more so than anything you can have peace of mind and i i read i read that list to my sister and she said well that's a that's a fairy tale business and i said <laughs> you're right it's sin Cinderella. It's Cinderella. Cinderella. And so what I Cinderella. So Cinderella equity is where you form a digital side of the company, uh, the brick and mortar, and you utilize automation, innovation to basically build the value of that of that entity. Now, here's the key. Here's the real key. What people don't understand is valuation and how you value a business. When you value a brick and mortar, it has the, so just for everybody, and you may want to write this down, value, the, how people value a business is equal to the multiple of that industry multiplied by the annual cash flow. So if I own a hair studio, or a hair or a wig shop on fifth street my multiple is most likely two and mm -hmm. if i'm making a hundred thousand dollars free and clear a year then my business is worth two times that hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars yet as a digital owner if i own that same wig shop but in the ether I'm multiple is five to 10 times such that that same hundred thousand dollars is worth five hundred thousand dollars or even a million dollars of valuation which means that now my business is worth much more which means i can extract much more my business the equity in my business that i can sell is greater go ahead Dave. so then want to uh, interrupt because he's killing it, man. All right. So just in case y'all don't believe this, these numbers are not inflated. If you ever watch the uh, the profit with Marcus Lemonis, this is exactly what he's talking about. If you ever watch the Shark Tank show, you'll see when they come in there and they'll talk about their sales, it's cool. But then when they start dropping bombs on the assets that they own, the digital assets that they, oh, yeah, we also have an app and we also have a customer list. Then the sharks, their eyes light up and be like, oh, snap. OK, well, I see why you, you know, uh, set your company's evaluation that high, because the more like like brick and mortar is good and everything, guys. But it it takes longer to grow than digital does. Right is is it's a lot Absolutely. of bottlenecks. It's a lot of bottlenecks offline. 
um, online is bottlenecks as well when you're building businesses, but there, everything is expedited online. Like the, sp the speed happens online for some reason, right? So what, what Curtis is saying, uh, the, the evaluation of the company grows when you build this digital twin and I'm about to share my screen and we're going to go through like the literal steps of what you guys are going to be learning inside the agency to partner, the new and revised agency to partner program that's going to have Curtis, Absolutely. one of the coaches in there. Hey, yeah. Listen, man, y'all better stop with the penny pension. For real, because y'all are just looking at the suggested section videos right there and trying to find some cheaper free way to magically become Jeff Bezos. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you're over the age of 18, come on, man, be mature. Become an investor. Stop being a baby. Stop expecting people to do it all for you. Be a grown man. Some of y'all can turn around and look and see your kids. Then you get online and turn into Google Gaga. Now, I'm not on here to beat you down. I want you guys to look at the value that, not, like when he told me the idea, because agency the partner was already set up, but I wasn't even going to really promote it or anything. As you guys can see, I just put it in the in the, uh, the pinned comment and then just like, yo, y'all can go sign up if y'all want to. But when he told me his idea to add the Cinderella equity part to it, then he explained to me what a digital twin is. I'm like, yo, these people can make way more than what I'm talking about alone, just with the marketing and everything. If y'all have ever wanted to um, have have stake in companies, so-called shares in companies and all of that, this is a way to pretty much dive into a company, infiltrate it, if you want to call it, and like become part of it, like weave into it. And, and like we have the 10 monetization methods already that's in there. But now you're cloning the company. You're making a digital copy of the company to where even if that business and, and the, the crazy part about it is the company itself, like the business owner is funding you to create your digital copy. <laughs> so even if you right. stop working with them in the future, Without his permission, you own the digital. You own the digital version of it that that you leveraged him to build. So right. it, it, it's, it's crazy, guys. So that's why we increased the price, and that's why I told y'all to get in at four ninety seven. But now we about to add a nine in the middle of that, right? So let me share my screen, Curtis. Uh, then right. uh, you be able to. Dive in it, Trey Song style. Pause into the. So this is truly exciting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, just in case y'all don't know, is agency the partner right now? Just in case y'all thought I was BSing because you're about to come here. Well, in the next couple of days, once we get all of this stuff officialized, what, what, what's happening? Okay, hurry up. Okay, once we get all this official, y'all gonna come here, and the four ninety seven that you see right here is going to have a nine right there. Like when I was doing consulting one-on-one -on -one with agencies and teaching them this stuff, I was charging 10 K because I, back then I thought it was going to create a lot of competition for me, but now I know it won't. Right. But you get to get that today, last day for 97. Cause once Curtis create his section and he's about to create the section this week, once he creates his section of it, there's no way. It will be illegal for us to charge low on that. All right? I only had it at 497 because I wasn't going to do too much involvement. I was going to set you guys up, give you access, give you access to the proper uh, private membership, hope that you guys start dealing with each other and helping each other, give you the step-by-step -step training and the tools and all of that. You're going to make money, but now you can, like, break industries uh, with the addition that, that Curtis is bringing to this. Okay, so I just wanted to let y'all know, man, you can penny pinch if you want to and say, you know what, when I get my taxes, man, when I get my tax, all right, when you get your taxes, it's going to cost your whole check. How you feel about that? So don't wait. I, listen, I wouldn't get, listen, I got three kids, a wife, three animals, 
having been in the United States since 2012 scandemic had so much stuff, bad stuff happen to me since I've been gone, went rock bottom when Google's uh, algorithm destroyed all my assets. And in the midst of all of that crap, I was still paying thousands of dollars to learn more stuff so that the stuff that would never happen to me again. So I, I have little mercy for grown men who don't believe they have to do what they have to do to change their lives, but will sit on social media and blame the government and blame the world or blame God even worse when you run into people like me and Curtis. He is a veteran in this business stuff, and I've been doing this. You can go back all the way to 2015. So if you're going to learn from anybody, it's do what you want. Go to Tony Robbins concert and get hype and motivated and then go back home broke with your motivation if you want to not no shame on them but you need actionable business steps that you can actually take and we're going to show you how he he organized this and outlined it i'm stalling because i'm trying to build up the suspense <laughs> <laughs> right i'm about to show you how he I outlined like the structure of everything that you guys are gonna learn uh his addition that's gonna like on come into the already awesome agency the partner program and just is nothing out there like this right so go ahead let, go ahead and show him show him what this digital twin is right. man. Digital twin. so here's the concept is to dramatically increase the cash flow and increase the cash flow and the value of the company by creating a digital twin. Now, this digital twin executes on a series of innovation techniques called R protocols. Now, these protocols then implement a series of tools, automations, and techniques that David has been talking about all the last couple of months. He's been teaching these techniques, you know, for free, really, but they're all in the 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 agency right the the training so so it provides a structure and a covering for what you are learning inside the the agency itself and so it's tools automation and techniques that drive profits and value to the company and then what we do is once we do that now you have a company that's worth something on the digital side and you can go and sell that which is, is the beauty of it. You can go on some of the uh, marketplaces and basically sell your interest in the digital side and you can get 10 times. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. I got to interrupt you, Curtis, man. You dropping too much, Ooh. man. Nah, I mean, all right. So when he says oh. on the marketplace, his place is called uh, like biz, buy, sell. You talking about stuff like that? Correct. Um, it's, um, yep. um, Loop what's the other one? Um, so Loop net. Um, what's another? Guiding light. I mean, there are others. There's there's five or six major ones that you can go yeah. and list your portion of the business on. It's oh. making revenue. And that's crazy, guys, because the business owners, through the partnership agreement, they fund the entire growth of the digital twin. So that's right. They, that's right. not investing anything after you convert your your current or your current clients or your new partners into partners, guys. And they agree to, uh, um, you know, all of your your uh, acquire, uh, requirements and everything in the agreement. You plug in the 10 monetization methods and then you start the R's that he's going to uh, go over in a minute. And that's going to increase the company valuation and you can do what you will with it you can keep on going with it or you can like exit and sell it off and sell you know off. They, yeah Absolutely. they get to keep they get to keep their brick and mortar side of things right it doesn't doesn't change but you get to do what you want with yours that they fund it it's ultimate leverage right here okay go ahead man. absolutely and here's here's the hype part let me get you really hyped Here's here it is. If I produce a hundred or thousand dollars a month free and clear on the digital side, that's actually worth five times as much. So now I have a business that's worth sixty thousand dollars and I can clearly sell that business. What if I produce twenty five hundred dollars worth? That's three thousand dollars. That's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar organization that I can hand over to somebody and they would be happy because it's passive income. Yes, passive. Income. So, if you 
Hold on, hold if on, you go Curtis. up just hold on, Curtis. Hold on one second. He says it's passive income, guys. What y'all don't understand is the reason why it's passive income is when we tell you to get partners, we're not talking like how traditionally you'll go and get clients. Traditionally, you go and get clients right. that have a problem. That's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for people to have a problem. We're looking to if you want to call it leech off, we're looking to hop on the bandwagon of companies that are already profitable because we want to stand in right. front of money and make a collision with it. Right. So we tag on all of our 10 monetization methods that you'll learn inside our agency, the partner program. When you go to the first pan comment, when you go uh, the first pan comment. <laughs> we plug all of those in. And, and once they're plugged in, since those companies are already getting traffic, it's little that we'll have to do in order to increase. So all we'll do is look at what's currently working for them and then complement that with a couple extra things to increase and speed up a little bit. But we're going to start profiting from day one because we're going after people that have visibility already, brand recognition already, profitability already, partnerships already you understand so that's the power in this now go ahead i'm, I'm not going to interrupt you no more i promise all right let, let's just go up a little bit so you can see the other steps i i'm just gonna okay right there so first step create the digital twin that's about structure that's about the llc and how to do that second step the digital trend executes the r um, protocols that's the execution third step the r protocols then have associated tools, techniques, and automations to implement, uh, to be implemented. That's the implementation. And then the fourth step, the most exciting step is after anywhere from 90 to uh, 120, 180 days, less than six months, you assess the increase in cash flow and determine the value of the business, which is what we call reassessment. And so now we'll jump down to R1. So there are really nine R's, R1, which is remove. You, we're going to remove inefficiencies in the business. And you do that through the, the task is basically to identify inefficiencies in the business and their business processes. And we use a, a simple task or a simple tool called process mapping. R2 is you do R1 and then you do R2, which is replace. And that is swap out inefficient processes for more efficient technology. And so we're going to replace that with AIs. And so basically our tools uh, that we talk about that you learn about inside the, the program is chatbots and and automation programs and how to put all those things together. So that so we re remove inefficiencies and we replace them with efficiency through technology, right? AI. Number three is we resize. We're going to resize their um, their customer base by growing it exponentially through automation, outreach, and lookalikes. So. So the task is for us to basically grow the customer base by leveraging the tools that we have. And we you've already you've seen how David has been on videos and talking about scrapers and automation outreach tools and marketing media. And I call them virtual events. You guys call them webinars. All of those things are how we increase the customer base that th these are things that we're going to do for our digital twin and and at the same time, do it for the brick and mortar, which, you know, benefits from the digital twin. Then we're going to replicate. And what replicate means, which is R4, is we're going to multiply our marketing effort with leverage. We're going to scale our marketing efforts through creating an affiliate army and talk about it all the time. Right. You guys, yesterday's video or day before yesterday's video was about an affiliate army being part of the anti-job affiliate army. You use affiliate uh, software as a tool to do that. Number five, we're going to redistribute or in the vein of, of Snoop Dogg, re -swizzle the dizzle. And what that means is we're going to move steps around <laughs> in the process, right? And and for us, what that means digitally, digitally is this. When the bank, when the banking system gets an order and when they process the order, the merchant, even though it happens literally instantaneous, but the merchant is the last person to get paid. 
Mm -hmm. It goes, we take out our fee, the institution, and we and then everybody else get their fee. And then once it's done, the merchant of the hundred dollars, they get their ninety-six dollars. Well, we are going to move that step up front. We're going to be the POS system. We're going to be the virtual gateway system. We're going to use other tools. We're going to use AdSense. We're going to use books. We're going to use all sorts of things that redistribute the the wealth process and how wealth is created, how cash is generated. We're going to redistribute that and move steps around. Number six, repurpose. Now here is, here's what we do. We take the most valuable assets that they have, which includes knowledge, right? And we, we basically take that and we repurpose those assets. What do I mean by that? So we identify the top two three assets and one asset as an example is the customer base well we're going to repurpose that customer base and they will start off being our initial foray into our our affiliate army oh. why can't our customers and we may call it a different thing we may call it a referral program okay but they're an affiliate army oh. and we're going to make our customers affiliates of our organization. That's the first. So you instantly have an affiliate army already in your back pocket. Okay. Literally. So I don't think you like, I don't think they like you've been, you've been killing it back to back, right? Pause. So they might not have got that. Okay. So once we meet okay. this business owner, remember, we're going after already successful business owners. Once we meet this right. business owner, when we become partners, what's theirs is ours, remember? So these people exactly. already have customer base, already have a customer list. So some of you guys watching this right now, your agency owners, and you do something called a reactivation campaign, meaning... Uh, you want to get them super fast results, so you'll promise them results in the next 24 hours only if they have a customer base list already because you know instead of you going out to get new clients, it's way easier to get people that paid to come back, right? So you get in contact with the people on that list and be like, yo, if you come back, we're going to do this for you, blah, blah, blah. And then the, uh, then the partner is all excited and surprised like damn this dude this stranger just came and made money for me out of thin air right <laughs> right. right so you guys are used to that we're about to take it up another notch that same Next customer base that you would do that um that that reactivation campaign with curtis is saying they're going to be the same people that are automatically not just going to be in a reactivation campaign because we're going to do that too, but they're going to go into our affiliate army. So every time we get a partner, we get access to their existing and new customer base and not only do some of their money go in our pocket, but they go straight into our affiliate army and the affiliate army is promoting the partners. Have you guys ever saw a flywheel before how beautifully each part works in unison to feed each other okay that's what's going to happen the uh, the the partners are going to service the customers the customers are going to uh promote the partners and when both get paid or service we benefit too because our digital twins grow in value and our money Right. <laughs> so I, I hope you That's guys right. are getting this. So go ahead, jump back in there. It's huge. Yeah. Boss. It, right. it, so, <laughs> so now watch this. <laughs> yeah, Vols, right? Watch this. We're going to take this to the next level. If you thought that one, utilizing the partner's customer base to create an affiliate army, now we're going to put that on hypersensitive drive. Watch this. Reliance. Number seven is reliance, and what that is is synergistic partnerships. So let me give you a great example. I own a massage therapy uh, practice in, in Gilbert. We're going to basically create partnerships. So we created partnerships with a chiropractor, a, 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 a acupuncturist, and a, um, the cryo folks, right, and the gym. There now we created these irresistible packages with them. 
What happens with their people? We get access to their people. What are we going to do? We're going to turn them into affiliate army people. Mm -hmm. We're going to offer them the opportunity that we offer our customers as well. So our database just grew by five to 10. And we have all of these people who we give them an opportunity to become affiliates. And they don't only have to promote our product, they get an opportunity to promote all the products of the chiropractor in terms of their packages. They get an opportunity to promote the combined packages. They get an opportunity to promote the acupuncture practices as well. And they get the opportunity to look across the spectrum and go, this is something that I may want to do like as a as a full time you know mm -hmm. entrepreneur. Man. Yeah. I, so I mean so, you just multiply your reach and leverage uh multiple fold. Exactly. So you if you guys notice you're not just helping yourself. You're not even just helping your partner, the brick and mortar. You're also helping their customers. And then helping their customers, families and stuff like this could this is something that can bring them out of whatever situation they are just by working part time. And like Curtis said, like since we own the affiliate army, right, it doesn't matter if they don't promote our offers because we partnered with any of the companies that are inside our affiliate army. So whoever right. those affiliates promote, we get the a cut of that. So, like, guys, it's a it's a cesspool of 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 money. Like, is it, you it, you can't even run away from it. Once this stuff is plugged in, and you have your partnerships together and everything, like you said, you got it right there. But number seven, synergistic partnerships. Once all of that is plugged in, guys, that's when things become truly passive and effortless. I you give me one second to tell a quick story, Curtis. Um, it was a um, Go ahead. Um, it was, um, uh, what is it called? A freaking what is, auction, auction company that I used to deal with back in the day. And this is when I was testing. I forgot what this guy's name is. It's a Caucasian dude and he's super famous, but I just can't think of his name. He got real famous. That's when I really went on hyperdrive with this leverage stuff. I got obsessed with it. When I ran into this guy, he was talking about how he found out that majority of uh, uh, the people that went to this, um, this beauty shop drove mercedes or something like that so they he partnered with mercedes to give any uh or, or with the beauty shop it was, it was something like that he partnered with the beauty shop or the mercedes to give anybody that gets a car the appointments at the beauty shop like like, like it was something perfect like what he was talking about was how i'm echoing i'm echoing hold on let me mute myself and then i mute myself okay all right that's better okay. All right. So he was partnering. Uh, what he was talking about was how to make it effortless without having to spend any money. He was pinning the referrals against each other. So when he, he'll tell he'll find like what you were saying earlier, Curtis, like how the group, some groups like you have a product that go perfect with the group. Like I was talking to Curtis earlier about the video from yesterday with the drones and stuff. Like when you think of realtors or when you think of drones photography, you think of realtors. So it goes perfect together. So I could partner with a drone photography company and I could partner with a realtor and I could tell the realtor whenever you get uh, realtor friends that need some, uh, uh, you know, drone photography or need a drone, you tell me, and, and you know what I'm saying? So I'll get referral bonuses or fees from that drone company. And then I'll tell the drone company the same thing. Whenever I can send a realtor to you, you give me this. So instead of me investing in anybody, all I got to do is wake up in the morning and a couple of referrals then came from the realtor. Yeah, I got a couple of my friends. They saw my drone videos. They want this. And then I go over there and I tell him he give me a cut. Then I can take the referrals that he give me over there to the realtors. You see what I'm saying? So when, when we figured that stuff out, like I went crazy with it. So I started doing that with auction companies and I started getting first dibs 
on houses that uh, before they actually started selling them at the auction, which is how I was able to do good wholesaling. See, guys, y'all got it, man. Listen, I don't know my history. I always was creative with this stuff. I'm like, look, how do I not have to battle everybody for the same listings? So I'll get stuff before they, like, before it hits foreclosure list, before it hits, like, I was partnering with title companies, all type of stuff, guys. So you're going to learn synergistic partnership, okay? Create right. virtual That's alliance it. with industry complementers. Go ahead, man. Uh, bring it home, man. So, so let me bring this home by number eight, number nine. Number eight is the most powerful thing that you will ever see. And that is when you're AI-driven, virtual you you are going to help your partner understand that when they are ai driven but they're a virtual center all those partners right with the physical fulfillment so it's a a micro uh, maybe even a micro 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 of amazon amazon is a virtual company with fulfillment physical fulfillment organizations their trucks, their warehouses, etc. But they're a virtual company. How do you do that? Well, you do all the things that we just talked about. And when you do number nine, you reassess and you re reassess the value independently. So this company, the virtual company is this and the brick and mortar is worth this. When the virtual company company is worth more than the brick and mortar and there is an investment on both sides that means now when you put them together you are actually a virtual ai driven company with the physical fulfillment which means what does that mean what does that mean curtis that means that your multiple is no longer dictated by the physical is dictated by your competitor in the virtual which means that you are getting why is it that when we doing the scam demic clubhouse was worth two billion dollars and didn't make a dime it's a virtual company of virtual classrooms two billion dollars people and didn't make a dime because it's virtual and the multiple is different than it was worth more than the university of california ucla usc and santa barbara threw all together <laughs> just because it's virtual the 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 some of the colleges that are virtual are worth much more than colleges of brick and mortar. That's true. My point is that when you do and you become the virtual company and you help your your business partners understand that, then the whole company goes up in value. So you could be looking at combined, you know, we're 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 worth 500,000, but as a virtual company, we were 2.5 million. Hmm. And that's the reassessment. So what you learn with us is how to value the company up front, how to understand the whole processes, integrate all that stuff, and then value the company once it becomes a virtual organization with a physical fulfillment process. All right. Bars, bars. Clap it up for Curtis. Hey, I forgot we recording this, so y'all can't actually clap it up. But that was so cool <laughs> that I was actually expecting to hear some claps in the background. That's crazy. All right, but but dude, awesome. this is going to be the best decision of you guys' life. Like this isn't some. If I, I, I wish it was a a platform, uh, more business focused than YouTube. Other than LinkedIn, because I hate LinkedIn. If it was, guys, I would have met you guys. Was, guys, guys. Hold, met you guys Hold on, I got the echo coming again. Hold on, I got the echo coming. All right. So the reason why I said that is because I understand on YouTube when you run into courses and programs, they ninety nine bucks. So some of y'all watching this right now, y'all are in that mindset. I need you to understand that business exists. All for YouTube. You go into them every day. You walk to them every day. You work at them every day. Why is the echo keep coming? Okay. But this is your opportunity to be able to own a digital copy of them and own maybe a percentage of the physical one, depending on how deep you go, pause, with the partner. So, and then the good thing about this is 
let them know, Curtis. Like once everything is plugged in, you don't really need like we're, this is not going to be some some training or course on how to go and get a million clients or a million partners. I'm not going to no. slave you out. I don't. That's my goal is not. Life is about more than work. So my goal is not to get you to two hundred thousand a month with with a million twelve hundred dollar a month clients. That's some bull. All I feel is hatred, fear, and and destruction when I think of the typical agency business model. Oh, I may I was able to get to two hundred. Why do you think all the top gurus sell off their agencies? Because they're in hell with all of them dang on clients. So right. that was the business model before. I, I strongly suggest you go from agency to partner. So get out of the broke $99 mindset and dig up in your pockets. Yo, matter of fact, let me ask Curtis because y'all need to know how much time y'all got left. So each one of these steps are probably going to be, I'm pretty sure, going to be a, a, a deep lesson in the uh, the membership program. So Curtis is going Absolutely. to he's going to record these uh this section of everything curtis we about to start the dang on timer because people are lollygaggers and procrastinators um no offense <laughs> right so how long do you think it will take you how many days do you think it would take you to do these nine uh nine videos like in-depth videos so i i know people are excited i want to do this and get this done within the four or five day span um, and, and it's probably I'll, I'll under promise over deliver, you know, if I can do it uh, over a two day span, because I know the stuff, obviously. And, yeah, and yeah, I'm trying to get you from zero to up and running. And, and here's the thing. If you pay five thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars, because we charge people for a lot less, believe me, a lot less. Ten thousand dollars for just the R's and understanding how to do that, and then buying business physical businesses. So it's certainly worth the the value. But if you think about it, if if the first day you took action and you went and got a client, the second and third day you could have the value back in your in your digital twin. Because remember, what every dollar that you bring in is five to ten dollars of value and so if you made a hundred dollars you made really five hundred dollars if you made a thousand dollars that business at a thousand dollars is worth sixty thousand dollars uh yeah. you just made your five thousand dollars back early go get your five thousand dollars from the bank and within within two to three weeks boom boom, boom. that's an irresistible offer boom so guys all right we ain't gonna hold y'all too long but listen we already had this guarantee of an extra 200k per month and this was not telling you guys to do this with a lot of with a lot of partners this is before curtis even brought the digital twin um to me right i was already guaranteeing this just by you plugging in the 10 different monetization methods. So the reason why I agreed to like bring him on is because I saw this increase immediately when he told me what he knew. When he told me about the digital twin and the Cinderella equity, I immediately was like, dog, um, just with one or two partners. Listen, I don't think you guys understand how like if you're new to the agency game, I don't think you understand how frustrating. Go and watch some agency videos. That's our homework assignment. And look in the comments and see how frustrated they are. Oh, I can't get them results. Oh, I had a couple clients and they left me the first month after they paid me. Oh, like it's hell. I know y'all looking at the top people and they look all happy and fancy, Iman Gatsi and all of this. Ooh, I bought a Lamborghini with my SMMA. Look, listen, check this out. These dudes, why do you think everybody turns to selling courses and stuff? Like, I still own my agency because I'm not in hell with it. But majority of them, they closed their agency down or sold it and then moved on <laughs> because it was hell having. Imagine, imagine this. Look at this number right here, 200K. Imagine charging, charging 
a thousand to even two thousand dollars a month each client how many clients would you have to deal with in order to get to two hundred thousand dollars a month that money would not be freaking worth it i promise you i know from experience it is hell to the point where one day i made so much money in one day and then I went into a panic after I got off the call. Uh, you know how I do things all at once. I sign, I don't do the one by one call situation when I'm trying to get a client or something. I'll have them all on there at the same time. Uh, hype up one of them, that's a tactic. Hype up one of them, then the sheep will follow, right? And then a lot of them started signing up at the same time. I wasn't really prepared for that. When I got off the call, I had so much money from that one hour. But then when it sunk in and I thought of how long my process was to get people good results at that time, I said, oh, no. And I started emailing everybody and giving them refunds. <laughs> Look, imagine that where you hate clients so much that you give them your money back after you did all the work to sign them that is the agency that life. That's a typical agency life. life. you don't want that you don't want that you need That's to find a partner don't find clients find partners Okay. All right. With that being said, like he said, the clock starts. The uh, the time capsule full of sand is flipped over right now. Uh, uh, Brother Curtis is going to be creating the uh, the Cinderella equity portion of the course, and I still have a couple more uh, videos for the training part of things. Is a membership, so you guys will have coaching. Now you have both of us. He'll be available. I'll be available a lot of the time, and you're not going to be left. This is. This, this if you get in here and work it guys pause th this can change everything for you you'll never have to buy anything else again and the good thing about it is you can have partners that are already they already have they like sops they already know their operations they are they're good sales uh they have good sales team they answer calls when you do marketing for them all of that like we teach you how to go after like good business owners so that when you start plugging in your 10 monetization methods or when you start building this digital twin they're going to be collaborative with you they're going to be cooperative with you and everybody will make money good money right so all right man as y'all can see flashing across the screen screen this is the last chance for the 497 for the next couple days as soon as curtis texts me and says it is done it's going to be written like in the bible that y'all will never see 497 for this again you understand and this will probably be the last like training type situation i do before i relaunch the school into an actual real school not not brick and mortar but more of like a a real university type feel but for entrepreneurs so this is the last chance you guys got 497 for the next couple of days don't make excuses, make moves. Anything you want to say in closing, Curtis? I, I have one surprise, and that is for the first X, and we'll, we'll pick X 10 to 20 people. We'll do my portion of the training with them live. So they will, and then everybody else that comes along will, will be get recorded. the training inside the university or inside, inside the program. But we'll do the first people live. They will be with me. They will ask me questions. They will go through the protocols. They will go through the, the exercises. And the only thing is you are are required to do some work because you're going to be able to instantly innovate once i once we finish you do these exercises you're going to be instantly able to innovate so you can walk up to anything and boom go through these eight r's not just through from a company perspective but through a product so the expectation is that when you finish with me you will be able to patent at least three products and or services that's yeah. how so we we do patent pendings and that's how that's how powerful it is so i'm going to work with those individuals for the first x amount of days in order to get them like from zero to where they start you know making cash immediate mm. running through the r protocols mm. yeah there you go. Man. surprise yeah. Like what? Uh, what more can I say? Jay Z life. You understand what I'm saying? Like, 
this is this is it. Like this is it, man. I promise y'all. Like soon, y'all gonna come and this stuff is gonna be shut down. I, I you know, we I've been doing this for years, and. Mm -hmm. Only a percentage of you guys actually take action to this stuff. The rest of y'all blame me if you don't take action. I want y'all to take action on this. He said when he's ready to launch, that's the 5K, right? At 5K, those first people that get in is going to get his portion of the training live. Okay, it's going to be live. This is a man that owns multiple businesses. Like he owns like beauty salons, he owns chiropractor companies, he owns pawn shops and stuff. Like this is no YouTube Logan Paul beat Mr. Beast Bull. Sorry to bring it up, but I'm just, I just we have to create a separation here. I need y'all to mature in your mind when y'all step to us. You understand? So and that's not a prideful thing. I just need you to understand that it's no all right. Well, I go let let me go look at the next video over here. No, make a move, guys. Make a move. You'll be happy that you did, I promise. So he already created an irresistible offer. You'll be able to see his wisdom. You already seen it today, but you, you're going to see him go way deeper step by step into each of the R's uh, and, and so that you can create your digital twins and everything. Um, hey, we ride together. We die together. Bad boys. Now I'm just playing. Okay. All right. I'm going to let y'all go. This is running on long and I got a meeting. All right, Curtis, I will talk to you uh, offline in a minute, all right?